Hey guys, good morning. I just finished breakfast. Woke up about an hour and a half. This is like, this is my regular time. This is like when I feel like myself. I don't wake up every hour during the night. Yoohoo! We are here with uh, more Morgor and his beastmen. Considering how this uh, rework works with unlocking of the Legend Lords, they did a little bit extra, honestly. A little bit too good. Pretty much play all of them at the same time, while the, you definitely start with a different clan at the start. I wonder if... I don't think our faction name has changed and we confederate all of the uh, big ones. Scotty says, I want to play Warhammer 2 so bad, but holy cow, I can't play Pest on 6 to get bored. I'll uh, then watch, get your fix that way. Scotty with the red name. We got one more, boys. Okay, we clear uh, some experience here. Awesome some preservation, beautiful. These are our blood grounds right now. We have reached uh, critical mass, but uh, we're working towards the objective. Short campaign victory, and I might go for a long campaign victory. At this point, we should start sending uh, one of our main armies uh, towards the dwarves. Okay, let's check the Empire, uh, uh, Blood Ground the Empire here. <clears throat> uh, most of it's in, in the ruins. We did reach uh, tier 5 uh, Hearthstones, yeah. We're going to be making an absurd amount of dread at this point. And with uh, level 7, we have unlocked uh, that we can uh, get even more armies. But uh, we also need to in increase unit caps, which is where uh, probably most of the dread will be going if we get more armies. We got the, the basics up. Okay, uh, so what are we doing here? Morgul has raised Coron last turn. Uh, we have restored this uh, blood ground here. And I guess we are expanding blood ground in the northern uh, Bretonia. We do have destroyed Coron for the objective. Uh, I'm not sure uh, when I look at the left side, it's gonna be here. I think uh, Morgul should, should just go south to Bretonia uh, into the mountains. We need to clear all the dwarves, because Karzakarak will confederate them. So, I need to wipe up all the dwarves in the mountains uh, while moving towards Karzakarak. That's the plan. This army, uh, I think, was auto resolved, so they take a little bit of damage, but uh, Beastmen have impressive uh, replenishment. The horror replenishment uh, literally just keeps replenishing. And you know, at some point, you get immune to the attrition as well. So, uh, auto results are sometimes convenient. As long as they don't backfire fire with a bad RNG, which can happen as well. Got the uh, pretty much all the important stuff here. Uh, battle skills. His character skills are a bit weak in my opinion, considering uh, his uh, stats are all right, and what he needs to do is more than fine. But if you in invest into his uh, character skills, he'll do better at uh, dueling, even against large targets. At least this is really not his uh, role. His corruption is deadly enough, with uh, double uh, damage over time and uh, corrupted. I guess he can uh, do three times uh, damage over time on a unit, as long as uh, a unit is also uh, half or uh, under, half or less uh, leadership. So this is a lord where you can safely just uh, totally ignore this area here. Base is good enough, and improving it further just get, lets you get stronger against certain type of units, which is not critical. <clears throat> we might have uh, some points left anyways for it. As you can see, he has 84 attack, and uh, there's still, uh, what is it, where is it, the Ardor of Fury is somewhere here, I just can't find it. It's going to be very tough with another character, yeah, there it is. So he has an 89 attack. That's a, a really high attack.
Okay, uh, Fall Prime Munitions. Skill is a nice package of uh, uh, benefits, but it's primarily for the uh, ambush success chance. Ambush defense chance is actually quite useful. If armies are intimidated by uh, your presence, they will sometimes try to ambush you, and usually with reinforcements. But if you have foul premonitions with uh, plus 5% defense chance on top of ambusher, it's unlikely they'll ambush you, and then you fuck them up. So you are the ones that uh, are gonna be deciding what's gonna be happening in those battles. So not just chance, but defense chance is good there as well. This guy is mortal. Uh, at this point, doesn't really matter what we get. Someone missile resistance is always good. Uh, Morgul will just continue south. Uh, gonna target Karak Ziflin with Morgul's army next. This horde is fully developed, but uh, we can consider increased capacity here. Uh, what about Hero right now? Ah, yeah, I remember the plan now. The plan now is to fully upgrade ranks and then recruit decent rank heroes. Because if you get a hero at this point, it's going to take uh, some time for, before they level up. So we'll uh, purchase uh, this and this. And then we're going to sort heroes before considering other things. Unit caps, uh, as you know, as we feel like we need more. We have uh, started increasing unit caps as well, since we have five armies. This is a disciplined, he is both disciplined characters in this army. Talisman of Preservation is available. Uh, honestly, this item uh, is nothing special for the Beastman anymore, but uh, it can still be used on some of the uh, characters that uh, might not get uh, Champion's Essence. And... Uh, hmm... I guess uh, even the generation is good even for Malagor. What does the hero here have? Let's all put it on uh, on the uh, not this guy. Ah, oh, the chaos moon is doing good. It's doing good. We haven't uh, engaged in any uh, strong enemies. We've been pretty much ahead, ahead of the curve in the quality. Chaos Spawn is solid as long as they rank 7 uh, in the later game. If they're not 7, uh, they might not do enough and they might get killed. But uh, they have enough stats uh, to perform in the, in the whole campaign. This guy has pretty good items, we just need an enchanted item. I really like the idea of having uh, just one hero uh, go constantly through the ruins, increase your favor uh, income because you get favor and it doesn't cost you really anything and uh, you get items this is this is really really good with the uh, with the beastman okay just like this and uh, we can do quest battle here Malagor has to deal with the empire and the item is okay because it gives us uh, access to another uh, shaman Hmm. We'll get here. Uh, we're going to uh, let Kemler live, although he's a good trait. Mm, we don't have to target everybody. The Dark Hills, some of them, uh, the Undead, and the Skaven, they actually help in the big uh, picture, so you don't have to destroy them. If they go hostile, then we destroy them. So four bagbres and there's a bunch of characters here. I must keep my holy vow. No. Bunch of characters. But only can have impressive characters, even for the AI. But uh, like I said, we are really ahead. Uh, we're really ahead. We are really ahead here. How is life? Uh, love is good. Uh, pretty bad uh, uh, health stuff last month, but got my taste back. Infection did it until infection didn't get worse. All good. Oh, 
think this is the first time uh, breakfast in uh, in a while where I had like 100% uh, uh, taste. It's been coming on and off, uh, but today it's been 100%. Well, uh, without any doubt, the Taurox faction is the strongest. And if you are playing a very long campaign with the Beastman, well, you're gonna do everything. You always start with Taurox, because he has unique mechanic. Other than that, uh, it doesn't really matter. It doesn't really matter. Uh... Morgor's effect is, uh, you know, it's gonna save you some, uh, it's gonna save you some favor, and it's gonna give you a little bit more replenishment. It might not be uh, the best out of the three, but I think the other three matter. Been a while. Here's some lunch money. Oh, nice video, bro. Yoo-hoo! Thank you very much. And what time did you confit Tauro? Because it was like uh, 15 or 16. Malag um, Taurox uh, is like Grom. Uh, you get a, a mechanic, while the other one don't get anything. Uh, and the fact the beastmen travel around the world, uh, it's not just about location. So Taurox is the best starting lord, hands down. It's not even a competition. The fact uh, uh, they've kind of, kind of. Have not really implemented this well, because these three guys here, uh, this is not unlocking a lord. This is a confederation. And since this is a confederation, the snowball is real. It's a little bit overpowered, because you can rush the first one and get ahead. And the fact it's confederation and not just unlock, uh, you're going to play all the beastmen. You're just going to have a different faction effect. And faction effect Taurox, since he's the, been reduced uh, last as the biggest power creep, most all factions are missing mechanics, and Taurox has the mechanic, the others don't. So you get Taurox unique mechanic and you get the beast mechanics. Well, here you just get beast mechanics. So Taurox not only is uh, by far, by far the best, but his faction is also one of the, uh, the best in the game overall. Because it's he's that powerful. I think even the nerf to the rampage is just uh, the the beastman snowball out of control due to confederations, but Taurox uh, snowballs even faster. So if you're planning a long beastman campaign to truly experience the beastman uh, uh, power, always start with Taurox. If you try to have a different start and experience uh, the different part of the world early game, then you pick the other three. The other three are all equally good, I would say. Every everyone has something. It's down to faction effects. Faction effects. I guess uh, we can investigate this. So I can give you like, even a better answer. Just one second, guys. Let me uh, just compare. Let me compare, and I'll tell you. Taurox uh, numero uno. But let's see the other three as a faction effect. I think as lords, uh, they're all equally good. Uh, Taurox is just brutality. Uh, while the Morgor and Malagor are more, while Kazrak is, uh, you know, just behind Taurox in, in uh, level of brutality. Uh, Dread cost one spin for all unit capacity upgrades, so that's not bad. Uh, all arms get higher ambush chance, higher evasion as well. This is a solid faction effect. Man, they really done a good job with the beastman. They really done a good job with the beastman, guys. So you'll have uh, a faster dread stuff here, and a higher chance to ambush and higher chance to wait stuff. Malagor gets uh, heroes unlock faster and has campaign mood range. More ranks for brave shamans and great brave shamans. Goddamn, this is all good stuff.
Honestly, uh, this is all good stuff. This replenishment and cheaper horde stuff. This is all good stuff. There's like there's nothing bad here. Like this three uh, just all good. So it comes down where do you want to start. You want to start in Stalia. You want to start in uh, the Badlands. Or you want to start in Northern Empire. These lords are all great. With uh, without pushing it, uh, Malagor and Morgor are stronger than Kazrak, and slightly stronger than Taurox. While the Tarox faction is uh, ridiculous. This uh, rampage mechanic uh, makes his faction just. Uh, you know, you get a unique mechanic. You don't get bonus replenishment, bonus uh, cheaper stuff, but this thing will give you everything. If, you are, if you're doing it too much, if you're not very effective, uh, you might just fall behind replenishment, but there is a way to increase replenishment. There's a way to increase replenishment, you put a Vorgor in the army, and there is even campaign effects uh, for more replenishment. There's a way to increase replenishment. If you think replenishment is a problem, there is the tools the beasts have. Kazak needs building up. Taurox is just the raw power. Some of the most powerful stats in the game. While uh, wizards just win battles. And more gross corruption can uh, kill armies. They're all good. This is just uh, just incredible rework. The bot uh, wood elf rework and the beastman rework uh, has been pretty good, except uh, when it comes to stuff uh, they kind of missed on these lords. Orion kind of got uh, really bad things. Well, these guys all got good shit. All got good shit. This is like they look. They all look fun. They all have a reason to begin start with them, but if you want to truly uh, experience, you know the uh, uh, the OP of beast, when you go with Taurox. it's all good shit. The faction effects and the lords, all good shit. Their bloodgum mechanic with hearthstones and. Uh, and the uh, what's it called? Dread uh, mechanic with uh, the dark moon and the technologies change. Just wow! Good job. There is uh, room for improvement. And there's room for polish. There's some bugs, but uh, not only game breaking. Yeah, uh, Biggest Digus will go with Kazrak. So, uh, we got some uh, number security. This army uh, still needs to get improvement, improvements. Uh, these are Bretonians here. Lots of characters. Do we have. Uh, we can perform a ritual here. What are we doing here? Uh, yeah, we want to raise four Bergbris and then we'll perform it. Uh, the Bretonians did manage to overwhelm this area. They sent three armies, but we have uh, recovered it. We were close to recover it. If and when uh, we get uh, these things here, we get emergency garrisons. And at that point, the regiments of renown should not be in the armies. At that point, probably we have a lot more unit caps as well. And then the garrisons are not uh, just a uh, massive garrison. We can see them coming and we can prepare. So uh, it'll be much easier to defend as well. But uh, so far, the only one person was attacked successfully in the fifth turns. That tells you how strong the Hersons are. Garrison is replenishing, and the units are really dead. Does he have the numbers here? We don't even have to fight a lot of these battles. Or things go faster. 7700 and uh, raise them at once this one. No items, that's actually uh, kind of weird. And now uh, this uh, Hearthstone has done its job here. We are performing ritual. They get 30 marks and they won't be able to resettle. And now we're moving into Northern Bretonia. 
So, uh, what are these guys? This guy has the same as Malaga, around. Right? Do my blood first. His uh, attributes are quite poor uh, for melee. So there's a little nothing uh, to do here, uh, unless we are desperate to send him to attack. I guess uh, Son of Heroes is not bad. Once he gets on a chariot, it's, uh, it's a different story. He'll still get good, good items to perform against average and above average units. But the, the chariots are usually overwhelming against uh, uh, infantry. Kazak is real solid at this point. We'll get his uh, Razgo chariot. 13th infantry, poor infantry against Kazak. The, the most uh, bizarre thing about this is uh, here how much attack he retains. But he loses a lot of defense and becomes a large target. But this chariot is brutality on Kazak. Just infantry brutality. Lone mower. This guy's rank 11, we got Alpha Beast. This is rank 12. Uh, this is just too good for one point. 5 attack, 10% weapon strength. Wargurus are uh, excellent at the uh, fighting capability. And they provide a buff to the army. Uh, this one needs to level up. Scouting, we missed an item there. We could have got an, uh, um, an item. We have a lot of characters, and uh, item games with beastmen are better than uh, uh, most factions. So we want to keep getting items uh, so our characters are uh, very strong. Not only you have scouting from the uh, uh, wizard, but you also get a building that gives you 10 and 20%. Tier 3, tier 5. <laughs> Yeah. So at this point, uh, we just need to care uh, that uh, our best rage is over 80. Because this buff is potent for replenishment and charge bonus. And it, uh, with the original replenishment, and you have work in the army, it's, uh, it's going to be pretty high. I would say uh, the Vorgo Replenishment buff does not buff Horde Replenishment. It will only work when you are in your own territory. It might not increase Horde Replenishment. Not, uh, not 100% though. It's bound to be... Uh, you know, I screw up someone in these things. But uh, the replenishment of the beast is excellent. Especially with this faction. Mm -hmm. uh, we're gonna purchase this upgrade here. So we get another 5 ranks for the Lords and Heroes. This is very important. Uh, as you unlock new armies, get regular Lords uh, start on a high rank. High rank and also heroes because we are getting to the point of the campaign where it's gonna take a while for them to level up and uh, until they get you know the rank 20 and uh, you know good hero setup character setup they'll be vulnerable especially without capacities if you have stronger characters uh, a weaker army will perform better okay we are uh, in Lastria now let's see what's going on here Skrulk is here, uh, and there's some uh, undead as well. Uh, unless the attackers will ignore them. We will ignore them. And we'll probably keep uh, one army in Lastria. Just in case, and Taurox will go to Ultuan. 
We can set both ult on in the switch one back if uh, if uh, uh, this Kostak was in trouble. The Skaven will love us, I think, because uh, we kind of have similar goals. We don't have great power penalty as this faction. So, Skaven should really like us. Skaven and the Beast, we can work together. So big strong, so strange strange, make good war beast. Straight are we getting? It's just tariffs to 74. Nice. Malagor is our fourth horde, uh, so he's a little bit behind, but he's getting there. Uh, we did get tier five. We get a lot of growth. Uh, the more we have, the more the faster we grow. This army is pretty much what we have right now. We don't really need to unlock second battle skill right now. So at this point we can get his unique skills. We did delay them a little bit. Something wicked this way comes. The upgrade one is... Uh, it does upgrade the, uh, the uh, leadership effect and causes the fear to work. I wish uh, this whole package was one point. But if you if you go, on, go with this fear and you're not really gonna push it with all the heroes, second point is okay. As uh, this uh, this weapon exists, it will guarantee uh, 20 leadership loss anybody in Malagor's uh, radius, and he will also lower uh, 13 leadership in the region. And if you have a standard hero setup, uh, another 12. This is all enough to uh, mess up the leadership without pushing it further. We need to upgrade two buildings here. Sometimes it doesn't matter how far you move with Malagor, because if you might plan next turn to do the uh, the deep uh, deep beast pads, because that's that's much movement, especially in after rain like Lastria. So this is that building I was talking about for uh, magic item drop chains and post battle loot. Uh, this one is, should always be a priority to upgrade because the battle loot will pay for itself. And uh, you, in case you change of getting items. With scouting in the army, uh, provided by the wizard, you have a very high chance to find items after every battle. Red building. Some uh, characters can even get even that even higher. I think it was Kazrak. Yeah, another 15% here. Kazrak can pretty much guarantee, uh, I almost guarantee item drop and uh, stealing of en enemy items off the bell. Almost guaranteed. If not, if not uh, 100%. This is uh, also one of the most important buildings in the Horde, so uh, Dread, Dread is needed throughout the campaign. There's never going to be enough of Dread, because you can almost get more armies and uh, high quality units. So let's see what we're going to do about this. I'm thinking uh, to mix it up a bit, we'll put a couple of Saigors in Malgor's army. Which means uh, uh, that we want to keep Ungor Raiders uh, in, the, in the army as well. At least two of them. Please check. I think the chat is frozen for me. No, 
And we have some favor to upgrade uh, these things. Next uh, one uh, makes it an additional, uh, actually the same cost. It just gives us imu uh, immune to attrition and two hearthstones. What the hell is going on with the chat? Everything is frozen on the left side. I just refreshed my dashboard and everything was reset. Nice Twitch, nice. Looks like Twitch uh, has uh, some issues with Twitch right now. They have a uh, thing to sort this out. Which went to shit. <laughs> Everything is frozen, nothing is working. I think we're gonna make a short break and we're gonna get a coffee, guys. Maybe it's sorted by then.
Well, guys, we're back. <coughs> the stream is still uh, broadcasting, but uh, the web page doesn't work for me. So, if, uh, if you guys can see it, still see it, good for you. And uh, if you uh, notice the everything's back to normal, just post a message in Discord. Because uh, for me, not, nothing wants to load on Twitch, nothing. Everything is just stuck in perma uh, buffering. But uh, it's still broadcasting here. Anyways, where were we? We are expanding uh, the blood ground here into the sacred pools. You can see the scaven down here. Yeah, this is perfect. Uh, the capital and the pools. And yeah, that's perfect. We don't. Uh, we don't really care about the scaven. Uh, but uh, we're gonna mess up their enemies here. what kind of movement we get here. Uh, it looks like uh, the beast pad is a little bit better. We first raise up uh, a hearthstone so we can build up devastation. Ooh, lots of blessed units. How the fuck did they unlock these blessed units without ever leaving their settlement? Yeah. Looks like the AI does get the the benefit if it's going to concept the free units as well. Chakwa is going to be part of this uh, blood ground. Once we get this to 15, we'll get additional army and uh, probably somebody for emergencies. Just in case uh, we have a massive uh, army available if things go bad. Which means the Regiments Renown are the most ideal for, the, for this role. We're going to disband them and put them into emergency uh, position. Some is getting a little bit better, just with more capacity. Is it for last? Did we hit any regiments uh, here? Uh, Jabra Slide is here. Jabra Slide is, uh, is a pretty good regiment now. It can actually win some uh, nest battles easily. But we don't really need it in this army anymore. Keep it for the emergency. Uh, let's see. Uh, everything's at capacity here. We need to unlock more units. This is a solid uh, uh, regiment, especially with infantry battle skill, which the Lord will have. Okay. Can easily protect a Hearthstone with a uh, uh, with the regiments of renown and uh, some ogres if needed. Okay, all good. Next turn. Military alliance, huh? Well, it's called probably gonna be solid this campaign. But if we ally with these guys and the chaos declare war, we might go to war as well, so best not to do that. I wanna see what happens with chaos first uh, before we know for the future alliance with the beastmen. Okay. 
Okay, that gives a little bit more income and a lot of public orders. I guess we can get executioner as well then. Get the best of resilience. 10% physical resistance for these units. Arpis got more resilient now. Four hounds as well. Pigs too. And also... Manticores. Manticores, is it, is it Manticore? Manticore units. Doesn't work on the Manticores. So the only thing that's in the game for the Manticores, because uh, they forgot about the battle skill, doesn't work on the Manticores. Wow. Uh, this is pretty bugged. This is pretty bugged and this should be patched. And Manticore units. They really uh, forgot about Manticore satisfaction. They should be on a battle skill. They are not present on a single battle skill. They should be in on the freakish mutations and bestial butchers. And the only technology that buffs the Manticores doesn't even work. That is disappointing because 10 physical resistance is nice. Very disappointing. I was rank 15. Uh, what do we get here? Uh, hmm, more harpies, huh? Missile resistance. Hold on, hold on. Is this bugged as well? Hmm, how many harpies do we have right now? Uh, five. So yeah, it looks like anything that increases the unit capacity is bugged. It gives you double. You don't have 25 chaos, you only have 13. I don't... Uh, I'm really not fond of this bug. This bug is kinda almost like ruining my experience. Uh, this is the reason I don't recruit over 13 chaos spawn. We have currently uh, 9 harpies. But we actually have 4. I don't know where that one comes from. It looks like uh, uh, one of these might give 2 to harpies. For some reason. So we really have uh, eight harpies. So actually one, four, even it plus two. Yeah, there's a, one harp is coming out of nowhere, so something is bugged there as well. This one is a weird. Because it works fine for the Manticores. Four, four, we can, we have nine harpies. Eight harpies. I think the second time we increase the capacity for harpies, it increases by two for some reason. Almost like something is increasing capacity for harpies and it doesn't say anywhere. Because you can't have this on 5 and uh, Manticores on 4. So there's a, there's a bug with this as well. There's a bug that the uh, unit capacities are uh, the buffs from faction effect, skills and the followers are applying twice. And there's a, another bug with harpies which gives plus 1 uh, for whatever reason. And I can really explain this one. We can get three more harpies here. I'm uh, really, really not uh, uh, fond of... Uh, uh, not even want to consider getting the more capacity because of the bug. But say of the game and no, we should, you know, just be fine with it, but... No, I just... It just... This is, uh, this is uh, almost the only thing that's just messing up the experience now, this unit capacity bugs. So the effects are uh, getting doubled, and Harpy gets one extra for some reason. Why does the Harpy gets one extra? This is by one every time. 
I think the second time we unlock this, we got plus two on the Harpies and one on the Manticore. Because Harpies are supposed to be uh, uh, this plus four. So we have four Manticores and eight Harpies. But uh, we have... Uh, We have uh, 13 Harpies, it's plus 1 and then plus 4. So I can explain where the extra 1 is coming. Maybe somebody uh, can explain it. That's a job for you guys. Figure out why the Harpies get extra capacity. One extra capacity. The extra 4 comes from a bug on the capacity bonuses. Which is a pretty bad bug and they haven't f hot fixed it uh, in the first month. And it's now 5 months later and still bugged. Okay. So I'm guessing uh, this plus one Gorgon here is bugged as well, then you get plus two. That's a lot of extra dread, you know. It's considering uh, this is confederations and this uh, capacities are bugged over the cap, it feels like a little bit cheap. Especially the uh, the extra extra capacity, so this is why I'm not uh, using it. This would literally just uh, ruin the campaign for me, so I don't touch it. This army is uh, militarily pretty weak, so we need to get uh, to get more units here. We have currently Saiga available. So we're going to get that. See how the uh, how the uh, the mouse cli uh, clip switch there to the other spot? Pixel moment. God damn. Now we can't encamp. Unless we can keep uh, best of rage higher. Armies are creating uh, putting 320, huh? I guess if we have five, but yeah. Doesn't have battle skills, but uh, this is kinda nasty. Oh, did the Twitch uh, start ringing again? Looks like it's uh, getting fixed. I've checked everything faced uh, regarding the plus one harpy. The only explanation is that the second or third harpy is plus two. Well, it's only plus one for Manticore. Get back, boys, yet uh, I can see the chat. Should really not underestimate here because of the five ancient salamanders. The army could take catastrophic losses here. We have four Ungers in the army. Could it be the two harvests from the start? Uh, maybe. Can somebody double check the early ward? Looks like the next one is here. Um. They are outnumbered, the enemy has large entities that are not gonna go in melee. It's actually even worse. 
This, uh, this unit's here, and uh, this unit's here are not very good in this battle. Manticore is bugged, doesn't have extra physical resistance, so we'll be back here. You either need a couple more minus or uh, Malgo reinforcing for that one. So we don't get a corner here with this one now. Huh? Uh, yes, yeah, got it. Twitch, uh, Twitch was in a bad shape for a little bit. This one makes sense here. We can make this one separate as well. I've checked everything, Viper. It tells you here capacity is four. Unique bon I heard some bonus somewhere. Uh But why would be just plus one harpy? Isn't that bizarre? We do get five five attack against the lizard and uh, from this one. And I, I didn't see anywhere. Unless you guys can uh, try to figure it out, because uh, uh, you can check the ward when this happened. Uh, I am just saying it's the second or third upgrade gate plus two. That's that's the only th the thing that can be explained. You can explain it. Uh, so we had 41 settlements. We still need to deal with uh, four factions. More shields. Uh, one moment. There's uh, uh, four shields and four regular. You can see four four. Everything is correct here except uh, the harpy. RP and of course the bugs that are doubled. And now you're, you guys are getting confused again. Like, like, uh, let me say what. Let me tell you what's happening here. So there is two issues here. Two issues. And the fact that in the edge game, you know, can't really uh, explain the second one. It's kind of you know, heartening. So the issue number one. Any unit capacity increase on a faction effect, skill, or a follower counts twice. So basically, Shadow Gave gives you four extra Chaos Spawn. But since the bug, it's eight. It's eight. Not just this, but also we just taken Crowfather, also gives plus eight Harpies. Other than that, we also have uh, Spawn Wrangler, capacity plus two, also double. So any unit capacity increasing effect currently gives you double, as it counts twice for some reason. So this is the, uh, the first major bug. The minor bug is that we get additional Harpy from somewhere, and the, we can't tell from where. So my uh, guess would be that when we increase this uh, the second or third time, we got two harpies for some reason. But only you still one Manticore. Because if you look at the army, if you look at the army, uh, 
We can say currently have five harpies, but four are available. We increased it by four, which means we increased it by eight. So we have uh, four plus one, minor bug, and then plus four, and another plus four, meaning plus eight. So we right now have eight harpies. Uh, the bug, major bug plus four from the Malagor skill, and unknown bug plus one. Currently, uh, cannot be explained, so we call it a minor bug. The same thing is happening with the Chaos Spawn. Uh, same thing is happening with the Chaos Spawn. I can't really show it right now. But uh, we have uh, four followers equipped, and we have effect, which means we get additional 12 Chaos Spawn due to a major bug. So currently plus 4 harpies and 12 chaos spawn is a major bug and plus 1 harpy is a minor bug. We can explain the, the major bug but we can't explain the minor bug. My guess like I said would be when we were increasing this the second or third time we got plus 2. If you guys go checking the wards you might actually see it when it happened. Oh, I can actually show it here, my bad. So, uh... Oh, we, are, we are too close to the city. One moment. One moment. It's not a good move right now, though, so... Uh, can't really show it, but we have 12 extra chaos spawn. We're going after the dwarves. We have to destroy all the dwarves, all the clans, all the Karaks. Because if you just go for Karaza Karak, uh, as we are destroying them, they will confederate everybody. So best start destroying all the dwarves. This also will progress Morgus, uh, Morgus quest. This is strange you get plus two here now. This is a little bit better. I thought it would be plus one, but it's plus two. Don't have a siege target here. Time we should get uh, more upgrades as well. Okay, now we can see the area here. Holy shit, that, that's it. This is the one. If, uh, this was perfect. This was perfect. This is the perfect one. He might uh, uh, do something about it, but it looks like there's been a fight here. He's got sacked. Uh, this could also affect the uh, the uh, the AI, but the AI beastman uh, is not that good, so it doesn't really matter. Unlocks additional unit recruitment capacity for uh, this unit zone. But uh, Feral Manticore uh, is not increased. This means uh, they are just unlocked uh, so we can uh, uh, unlock these things. This basically just unlocks the, uh, the dre rewards of Dread. I think it became clear we had one extra that uh, was coming from nowhere when we started increasing capacity. And it was somewhere around where uh, Kazakh was in this area here. This guy needs a siege attacker. 
head, uh, most important building, and uh, siege attacker. I guess we could uh, uh, get chaos spawn. The extra hordes cost money, but uh, it's all worth it. As you have, to, uh, this is the most expensive part: the uh, buildings. We do have 23% uh, cheaper buildings, 50 for faction effect and 8 for the magister. Once the horde is fully built up, uh, it will no longer cost any favor. Unless you uh, want to get some more items and banners and stuff. What do we have here? Battle is immediately available. Austin for dark mail, uh huh? <laughs> Just like that, the Dark Mail quest is available. Beautiful. We'll be doing those. Okay, I got another uh, challenge of the Dark God available here, or uh, AK technology. Main cleaver as a crude weapon, so the beast may lack any finesse, but are wielded with brutal strength and unquenchable fury. Razgur herds get 10% uh, more damage, and uh, harpies and chaos warhounds get plus 3 armor piercing weapon damage. That's great. Very good for the harpies and the chaos warhounds. Razgur herd uh, only has some damage, it helps them as well. They have a 52 weapon strength. We get 10% more. So, uh, from Star Cap 2 for Harpies. So, when we click this button uh, the first time, we got plus 2 Harpies. Do you have the uh, the link? Can you give me the link, please? Base cap. Mm -hmm. But it's uh, still a minor bug because it says here 4. It says current cap 4. But we had 5. So... so I, uh, from, from the looks of it... Uh, yeah. So it could go both ways. You could get one extra or just could be bug text. The text could be bugged here or uh, the other one. Like I said, this is this is a minor bug, and uh, I guess it's the starting one. Star Cup, Start Cup. Because uh, uh, you know, it's weird they put Manticores with Harpies. Why didn't they put Manticores in this area here? This is this is the the weird thing. The Harpies should be with these two units, and the Manticore should be with a giant and a chaos spawn. So starting cap for Manticore is 1, for Harpies is 2. But it says here current cap 4. Well, it could be more sense if the Harpies was here and Manticore is here. This is on, on, on one another thing. Uh, you know, uh, it's a little bit different thing, but yeah. So the starting cap for Harpies is 2 for some reason. When you go find the first one, you got one Harpies. Yeah, I, I, this is where I got the Harpy unit, but... Uh, 
was it capacity? Maybe the confrontation is plus one. But why would it increase the harpies but not the fellow Monticor? Because they're in the same uh, unit cap. It's weird. We'll accept this one as a feature, but uh, the extra unit caps uh, from uh, other effects, it's a major bug, uh, we'll not be using those. But this uh, this seems to be, uh, you know, uh, it could go both ways, so it's just a feature. Well, the extra 4 Chaos Spawn plus 2 extra from the uh, Follower and extra 4 Harpies from uh, Malagor, that's a bad bug. Uh, let's see this. Uh, in yeah, it's a little bit weird, a little bit weird. But now that I think about it, yeah, the Feral Manticore should be with Giants and Chaos Spawns in this uh, group of units, and the Harpies should be with uh, this group of units. There's one extra group here that is really not necessary. Bestigor should be slightly cheaper, probably 400 as well, on the first one, since it's separate. Just like, uh, in my opinion. The Manticores are in a really bad shape, because not only they forgot them on the battle skills, but their technology is bugged as well. They don't get bought by technology. And technology says Manticores. They're in a really bad spot. So we're saving uh, for the final upgrade here, and then we're gonna start unlock some heroes. Well, uh, two things can be done about the Bestigor. Uh, they either could put it uh, plus one on 400 base, or keep the same one but give you plus two. Other laws in battle are Manicus supposed to play. Uh, it's good uh, attacking the, the wall defenders, especially the ranged units. They're ideal to harass units that can defend themselves, because they come from the air. So uh, they attack from the from the air where they, nobody's bothering them, and they get the pick of target. So any unit that will not be able to defend itself, preferably range units or artillery. One Manticore won't really do much, but two together is solid. Best to have uh, two or more. But uh, like I said, no battle skill and bug technology makes them uh, much weaker than they're supposed to be. If they had uh, the proper battle skill implementation, like, uh, you know, Chaos Spawn, same tier, uh, and technology worked, the Mantic Film Manticore would be way better. Now it's just below average, I would say. One uh, won't do much, but two together uh, is okay. The fact uh, you have a lot of ground units, the air units, uh, uh, you know, help quite a bit. Just because they can pick targets and fly over the enemy. I would put Harpies uh, way ahead uh, the, Man the Manticore. Because the buffs. And even if the Manticore uh, had a battle skill and technology work, the Harpy would be sl slightly ahead. Which is, you know, bizarre. I'm not saying the harp is too strong, I'm saying Manticore is too weak on the base. 
Like for example, uh, we have Manticore capacity, and instead of ignoring it, because we are increasing the Hardy capacity, uh, an army that is already stomping uh, brute force pushing to the enemy can definitely use a couple of flying units, even on a f in a field battle, especially during a siege. So by piling up uh, Manticores in groups like two to four is ideal to give you some uh, uh, units that uh, can pick targets and go over the enemy while the rest of your army goes into the enemy. You can get execution uh, by killing the captives, but this is also too good. We're getting a Hearthstone uh, in uh, Kessel Art 1 next. Force the Warden. Start uh, uh, ruining Bretonia. Morgur will be clearing the dwarves. You dare approach a will be clearing the dwarves into Karazakarak. One by one they will be dead. It's a different uh, area though. So Morgur will separate from the blood ground and go on, its, on his own. We can have blood ground here. We do have six uh, shards, so I guess it's, uh, it's fine. So what uh, what is going on here? Frenzy and uh, four attack. This unit can still get ten percent damage. Seeing the rank seven will be okay, especially in this army, because we have the uh, the veteran battle skill. Don't have the skill uh, base battle skill for this one, so it doesn't have a future in this army. But uh, uh, considering the high experience, it's fine. Sending horse and chariots on hand are beautiful here. Really beautiful. This chariot is quite fast. Horrible regeneration of chariot. Be, uh, I don't know. Should be illegal. But considering uh, that we're gonna use one Razgo chariot in this army, it makes sense. As they're part of the Sentigor battle skill. And regarding Sentigors, uh, the Great Weapon 1 has uh, really solid damage. Just lacking attack. But they get 5 attack from uh, Panel Fury, they'll still get more over time. And we cannot Frenzy an additional 4 attack. Frenzy on a Sentigor is excellent. We'll get 10 attack and they'll get 10% uh, damage. I mean, it's a little bit more infantry. Preferably uh, Bestigors. We have the infantry battle skill. Or herds with shields are fine as well, I guess.
we get two of the price of uh, uh, under one base to go. The Aura of Madness will not really work on Dwarves unless they are getting wrecked, but it uh, can still be useful. Can unlock some uh, more gores and uh, stop using ungors. We are past ungors here. I just can't afford it at this point. Ooh, we got a battle, guys. Going left. We'll smack that Tain with a giant. Morg will charge into a mosh pit. Shot by the quarter or something. Not for you, boys, not for you. If I use this in a chariot unit, considering horrible regeneration, it might work. Dead on. Wow, the chariot actually uh, gets destroyed by that thing. That can't be right. Okay, we'll not use the chariot again. I don't remember chair being getting killed by that shit. Look at the giant man, just don't stand there, I can smack something. Uh, the, the, their crows are actually excellent dealing with the Santigors. The Santigors are kind of soft uh, if they can block. And their, their uh, crowsmen targeting the Santigors is a very good job. Oh, 
we should not be using uh, Touch by the Moon on the Chariots. But, uh, you know, science. Uh, Jabba Slide still did uh, mega damage here. These pigs were also slaughtering. The Quarrelers needs to be a top priority for targeting, because they're the ones that are the only going to do the damage here. Very quick trip, nice. Uh, yeah, I can see that Godric uh, with the harpies. I think harpies uh, were with the warhounds and the pigs at the start, and they moved with manticores because they added the manticore to the uh, to the beastmen. That uh, makes perfect sense. The manticore should be just added to the chaos spawn in the giants uh, area, but you know they uh, decided to create another one and split the harpies so the manticore is not alone. Manticore was really poorly implemented with the beastmen. In fact, they forgot battle skills, the technology is bugged, and this uh, thing with the harpies. And the chaos spawns are really disgusting in the dwarves once they get rank 7. Basically, it's kind of price right now. Uh, we'll get some gores. Gores are two. I thought we would, something would be uh, one each. But they added Manticore and they separate the Harpies from this two group here. Instead of adding Manticore to this group here, which would make more sense. I guess that's why Harpies is sort of start. Yeah, the Manticore was added later, but it was poorly implemented to the basement. Like I said, they forgot everything about this and they kind of uh, did this weird. Instead of adding Manticore to the uh, this list here, they added Manticore uh, here and they split the Harpies from this too, from the looks of it. This is really good. This is a uh, this infantry is solid. Should not be using this infantry anymore unless it's a very like brand new army. I do have 10 more armor now as well. I'll uh, use the shield ones in this armor. We well, they have uh, a lot of squishy units here. It's the, uh, the veteran skill here. Uh, missile resistance, speed and charge bonus. Yeah, this helps. Blowgun has been expanded. This is the next one here. Yeah, perfect. This is so good. So good. All characters get a better enforcement range. Huh? The bar might, uh, might not increase, but... Uh, See, it works. Uh, yeah, there's something uh, uh, something good there, but uh, we put the uh, hearts in another place, so we can't put it there. And I'm very happy where I put it because it's a must blood ground. It's an extension of what we have there. It's not relevant for the uh, for the uh, what we got there. We don't know exactly what it is, but uh, considering our blood grounds, it's not important. 
Kazakh is an unusual beast. His deep cunning and propensity for carefully planning ambushes makes him a bit really foe. We'll have a very high chance to intercept if we decide to follow uh, premonitions here. Which I'm not sure about Kazakh. All characters get bigger reinforcement range. As you can see, the zone of control does not change, but the reinforcement range works. Because uh, uh, reinforcement range does more than one thing, not just reinforces. It also uh, asserts uh, control of the area. Kind of makes sense. But as we get more armies, big reinforcement range is great, as long as it works. We have to still confirm it works. So if we put the army here, and we select an enemy army, we can see the reinforcement range. We can actually move them a little bit here. Okay, this should still work. You can see they're being reinforced, but this has been increased by 50%. That means if we put them here, they should still work, if the skill works. Okay, skill works. This is similar to what uh, uh, White War has. Stuff like this is not critical, but it's, it's good to have. Urazgur chariots in the army, beautiful. This will save us a moment if we are uh, using more than one army to attack. Bend of Slanesh, that's not a bad item. Only a proper enchanted item. Fits with Morgan as well. For the, the corruption uh, buff. Five charge bonus is nice, but uh, it's not really critical. Not really critical. It's uh, how do we position the, the hearthstones we can build it here. This is amazing hearthstone here. Not just because of the size of it, but where it's placed and what it affects. Times of Gorse is over unless they are uh, uh, raiders. It's good for uh, small targets, uh, Lord Raga. It's questionable now on large targets. It's early to say, but it looks like it has lost its effect on large targets. But um, stuff like Harpies and Bestigar's uh, system seems to be pretty good, especially attacking other infantry. Infantry and infantry uh, still seems uh, uh, working as before. Hmm. 
<laughs> I need to patch this shit as well. They have increased the limit on these things, but they forgot to uh, change the items. You are limited to equipping no more than three items to provide an ability. I only have fucking one. I didn't take four seeker. They might have been uh, might have been fine, I guess. I need to patch this. They increased this limit on the battlefield, but they forgot to patch it on the campaign. Are we still reinforcing at this range? I am a rune lord, Ooh. not so smith. That's some impressive fifty percent, yeah. We need uh, a siege target here. Money is good to just keep building here right now. So I still needs a uh, better quality. Here, uh, this will give an attack to the Ungors, Gors, and Bestigors, charge to, and more damage to Ungor Raiders. 40 40 on. 46 46. 6 attack is uh, very important for Bestigors. Bestigors will kill things way much, much faster if they give extra attack. So then I have to rely that as much as on the charge. And also uh, confirm if uh, this works on the horde replenishment, because we haven't skilled it yet. Swarm has been attacked. Well, the awakening is doing good here. The uh, different place, if we don't try to cover as much area as possible, we can get uh, a lot more uh, hearthstones and a lot more of these buildings as well. Which can also be shit on more dread. But it'll also take more turns to, you know, uh, get these things up. And more favor. Speaker! I may not hear you over. So only who's he gonna fight once we clear this area? I hit this, they'll get crippled before they reach that. Ringrad uh, can be resettled on. 
It's actually it's a scaven seed, never mind. And I'm like, what? It's the scaven seed. If
Yeah, all I got seems like some kind of gift nonsense for Twitch partners and shit, which I can't even bother to uh, uh, fill in the details to get it. I didn't get any other stats. Okay, Karak's influence is gone, one less dwarves in the world. This is the bigger old one, huh? 120% rating, 5 growth. We need 2 hordes. Uh, I don't want one more, 1 to grow. 120% rating. Might get the goal we need. Shit ton of uh, skinks coming here. Oh, good lord. This one also makes sense for Hearthstone. That's also very good on the shaman. Shaman actually becomes a fighter. Gives us 10k here. It's more attack and damage. Uh, Tormentor sword not that good here anymore, huh? 80% more damage, 28% uh, more damage, oh, I'll take that. The giant one will be better here, but that one is rare to find. This has been destroyed. This is the Gisser attack here. I don't really care about the vampires. Uh, but we care about the Castle Bastone. Force them down, we need to move forward. When he's in, uh, on his last legs. He's gone. Stone will follow. Feral fervor. Never before has a beastman leader proved so lucid to retribution. Oh my god. Gors and Besticors get stalk. Oh Chaos Warhounds, Rezogor Herds, and Harpies get stalk as well. The whole army gets Strider and 33% uh, vigor loss reduction. Which stacks with this to 58%. The Lord of the uh, Wild will uh, pretty much the whole army is next to perfect vigor. Not really, but next to. They still get affected by the stances, well, the perfect vigor just prevents that. If there is a vigor uh, that can go from 0 to 
this army will uh, have no problem with it. Because the stance will affect it and uh, perfect vigor doesn't do anything on that. Well, if they have just regular movement uh, with regular vigor, uh, it's uh, pretty amazing having uh, those two plus uh, vessel surge. Hang the backs. Not really in the range here. This thing also needs to replenish a bit, right? This is more uh, dread. Not in this world or the other. Uh, this army needs uh, some more units. Chaos Warhounds, Harpies, Resgar, Hurt, Chaos Spawn, Jan, Jabba's like Gorgon, Tsaigon, Mount Creams. At least it works in the Manticore. So I'm not sure what's gonna happen if uh, this one gets destroyed. Get two harpies. Timius Wipe rank 17. We're not done here. Hold on, game. We are not done here. Arak Ziflin uh, replenishing. Do you take me for Chell? Close victor, low casualties. Chariot is back, right? I have to stay next to Karak Ziflin uh, until Garrison is a little bit stronger. Five. Only matter at this point. This is uh, some Saigor. Aravon is in this area and Karak Asgaras Klanagun is next, but uh, yeah, we're uh, going after the enemies in the area too. Karasun needs a little bit of replenishment. The area should be secure here. You reek of anguish. Uh, war with Katik, uh, Katik like they're gonna move. Okay, this area is done. Uh, what's going on here? Chakwa number two and number four. Uh, this blood gun has expanded. Looks like uh, second pulse is next, but let's go destroy this one first. Mm. 
Attack speech. Now you're dead. Mm, we killed this one. How many do we need here? We need 150. 50. 150. And this is uh, what? 27 settlements. They might fight us outside here. You get uh, six characters here. They actually have a landmark here. So landmark is pretty good, but it uh, doesn't really affect us at this stage. Well, it actually will affect us uh, a bit. The battle still look better. Uh, the characters need uh, experience. The time retreats is fine. Oh, two bells. Oh, we can actually lightning strike the one outside as well. How's our leadership here? I don't see any, any effect on our leadership. I guess it only works when you attack the city. Investigator is almost rank 7. Mm -hmm. I'll raise a standard, uh, we'll go another unit. I don't think this does anything in the, on the miners, honestly. I we still haven't confirmed it, but it feels like it's pretty weak. So, uh, nine attack. Charge values on uh, single entities are uh, questionable at best, uh, sparkle, sparkle. This is the last thing you want to put. Especially on the killing machines. Unless you just don't have anything else. Oh, we have uh, a grave reminders of oh, those croxigors, those poor croxigors. Deploying close to there, guys. We have a little bit bigger issue because of the raiding. I think jumping these guys makes sense. Flying. The monitors on him.
Manuska is actually struggling uh, catching the shit up. Mantle of Gorok on the monitors and let's go! Guard Leap it. What made it, Crocs girls? What happened there? Yeah, I'm gonna worry about his temple guards for a second. Okay, I guess. See this battle here? This is why we have not underestimated the wardens. We have a, a lower vigor here, but still, get a picture. Warden's army is slightly better than this. Guys, dealing uh, good with this. This Monte Carlo is going down. Uh, we can't really pull them out here. They're just get stuck. Temple guards uh, murdered Manticores, no joke. They killed one. It was uh, unfortunate there with the Rampage, but I haven't seen the Mantic uh, Temple Guard moving there. Doesn't matter, the Manticores will come back. Uh, we'll uh, recruit a new one as well. It was not really an ideal situation to keep Manticore there, but uh, they split a couple of units at least. Pigs are pretty fast in the chasing here. Yeah, 
You know, Wizard did a lot in this battle as well. Couple good wild tides and debuffs. Hard to really, uh, you know, understand how much these debuffs do. Because uh, a lot of people just underestimate the melee and just go for damage. Don't really understand it. What will magic do with it? So damage is safe a bit because you can see the number, right? You can't really see a number in the debuff on the enemy. Because did get killed by the temple guards. That's fine, I'm just gonna you on. Well, you have more attack, fire folks, uh, you hit more often, you do more damage. You have more defense, you evade more melee attacks and take less damage. The base is 35%. Minimal chance hit is 8%, maximal chance hit is 90%. What more do you need? You ever paid attention to any anti infantry unit, uh, like Sword Masters? You would see how deadly uh, this shit is as they get increased attack against other infantry. If you paid, uh, uh, ever paid attention to arm breakers or you know just understand that they don't really take damage in melee, you know how the powerful defense is. It's like extreme examples: the attack and defense, sword mass of horde, and the arm breakers. So defeating the hand and we get casualties capture post build plus one percent for Lord's army. This might not do anything in this uh, in uh, in uh, this game for most factions. When you read this out loud, it sounds weird. Casualties captured post battle. I uh, bet this doesn't even work. 25% less attrition is fine. The only thing that this could do for the beastmen is increase a little bit of favor on the, the favor uh, post battle option and a little increase in replenish a bit on the, that option as well. Nothing really else. But it does it work? I can't really say with the certainty. Because, uh, yeah. Gives our infantry uh, a resi physical resistance attack and defense. We have a couple of them veterans. We'll get another battle there, huh? This is a magic cost minus one for all spells or characters. Malagor's profundities are so great that no other brave shaman would dare and er enact them. Despite this, the foolish and the insane attempt a fraction of his work works. All characters have cheaper magic. One flat. It's uh, incredible. So Malagor. And works on uh, the other guys. Oh, 
Let's try to switch to the low casualties. Nobody dead, apparently. Stage on not even that important, honestly. That eight uh, attack here. So it looks like it's gonna be immediately resettled. These guys have to go through some of the roughest training in the game here. So if you are, are doing like this, you actually fuck up the experience of the unit. That's why I do it separate. This unit should have been full strength, not this one here. If you've done it uh, the other way around. So mass merging is bad. If you want to retain experience properly. No, is there another more experience? No. The larger unit absorbs the smaller units. See this one here? This one is uh, two experience. On getting shit by absorbing this one. So this is the experience. What do you have they save the number? Uh, I have not uh, experienced that though. They have multiple units, you can always uh, you know pick how you want to do it. Complete horde. Can move the magister.
Uh, what do you, what do Kazakh? Kazakh has the harpies in the army. The two razor standards. A bit more damage on the harpies. They have 10, uh, what's, what's their AP right now? 13, and this in will put them to 16. Then with high attack, that's gonna hurt uh, from the air with uh, over 50 charge. Good money now, uh, and the horse are getting capped slowly. Hey, Bress, we don't need all those buildings, but uh, for completion. Well, satisfying when the horde is complete. What he had dread. That last uh, Lord and Hero uh, rank build uh, thingy. Still think if that uh, guy gets uh, destroyed a horde, is it still gone? What is attached to horde? But what if the horde is gone? I guess it's uh, the growth is, uh, is fine to get a new one. Four fifty possibly. It's gained four fifty possibly. This is the last one here. Now we can uh, get uh, lords on a nice rank. It says yeah, the wording is fucked up on this one. Lord and ranks are recruited rank fifteen. That's uh, that's fucked up. This is just fifteen ranks, so the wording is fucked. I should set plus 5, plus 10, plus 15. Oh, that's another thing. and heroes recruited in rank 10. That, that, this wording makes no sense due to how the uh, shit works. Because, you know, this would set it there permanently on that rank. But where is the bonus ranks? The first rank doesn't count, so it's just plus 15. So it just messed up wording. Say like this. He recruit rank plus five for base shamans. Lord and here recruit ranks uh, plus five for new recruits, right? It's as well. All this nice vision here. Gorok is getting overrun by the clump pestilence seen from the looks of it. Moonwood is so fucked here.
This is all I want here on the uh, battle skills. We still consider a Frigish mutation. But uh, we don't really need anything. It's gonna be infantry, minotaurs, and a couple of manticores. Gor Gorgon is good even without that battle skill. It can also be transferred to an army uh, with a battle skill as well. This moment is fucked here, uh, so I guess just ignore this and go for the sacred pools. It's currently under plague, it's perfect. Targeting this next. Uh, there's one pericatration here right now. It's been high when we entered. We have not been uh, in the area enough to uh, apply the chaos one, but it's chaos is spreading, especially uh, with the plague around as well. Back here. Mm -hmm. Can I have to clear the helm guard, or was they gonna keep clearing? This is, uh, yeah. These guys are moving uh, for the, the down there as well. This army here, um, we need to attack. We need to attack it. Clear Paramon. This is currently under plague, so they're dying as well. Next one, uh, we destroy Clan Angrun, the Karak Norn, uh, we go going towards Kar Karzakarak, because we just ignore everybody and go Karzakarak, uh, they would have confederated these guys. So we're destroying all the dwarves on the way to Karzakarak. And this way we're also clearing uh, the blood grounds. So this area is missing what? Uh, pretty much just Baston. Uh, we don't care about the vampires, uh, the undead in general, and the and the uh, the skaven and the Norska. But if any of them attack us, we'll destroy them. Battles are good. We get favor and we get dread. So let's continue. This is the uh, Castle Art Club low ground. Yeah. Because uh, this area is taken here, but it's, it's switched here uh, after. This guy's still up, what the hell? Yeah. Surprisingly, they have not allied with anybody here. This is uh, 18 uh, devastation right now. Change temperature is very high here. Three point six thousands. Another six six five. This is plague. I must keep my holy vow. No. Uh, 
Well, Axel, I fools. Hmm. Each guy drop chance plus 15 percent, another of 5 percent chance to steal the item against men, uh, their fears, cause a goal to cause terror against them. The guy has some impressive stats in the chariot. We've been looking more hero capacity at this point. We still need a couple of brave shamans. Let's get one thing on this. Can do diplomacy with green skins, but green skins are also on the list which we can tolerate. Extra damage here, but still convenient. One by one, they're dropping down. The fact uh, that we don't have to fight every single battle also makes it uh, uh, quite enjoyable. Thirty marks, but stone cannot be resettled. For uh, Biggs, Dickus, and Kazrak, it's the Bordel next. Although uh, this can save us some time if he goes for Para, when uh, Moro can immediately go out Clan uh, Angle instead. I will not blight my soul. I am a lord of Bretonia. Never. What we? I'm twenty here. Uh, Beast Lord's Lash for attack on the uh, Arpis, primarily. Also nice for the Hounds. It was amazing with Hound Master. Gore is amazing. Gore is amazing. Fortune, not bad, not bad. Uh, who 
can even uh, use him. I don't really use it right now. Like it on the shaman. Mm, put a glittering scales here. Then we'll put this one here on the worker. Adding this mode. Uh, hmm. No, no. Also, victory medium casualties. One centigrade dead. Let's go. And then change anything here. Let's see. Mm, Jaded is back. For these battles, uh, it's actually not very useful with the uh, blessing of filth, really, though. I had to put it in one of the gore shields. Same for the uh, the banner here. Our, uh, faster is not very useful in a battle like this, but uh, we can still do some some stuff. What is that video? Uh, I didn't see that video. Uh, why you guys don't, didn't tell me to see that video? On, uh, who, who made that video? Let's see that video on stream. Who made that video? So the video is called a Red Name Exterminatus. Ogilom, good job, good job. Inquisitor, with all respect, is Exterminatus the only solution? <laughs> Admiral Spire, it is said that heresy is like a tree. Its roots lie in darkness, while its leaves wave in the sun. You can prune away its branches. Even cut the trees <laughs> Look at to these the names. Ground, but it will grow again, ever stronger. Such is the nature of heresy, and why it is so difficult to destroy. Some may question my right to destroy a world of ten billion souls. <laughs> but those who truly understand realize that I have no right to let them live. No sacrifice is too great. No treachery too small. What do we have against our uh, Slanesh Supercell? Can he uh, use Shatterstone here? Damn. goes with the damage here. Climb on this one. And just have mainly pole arms here. Like the left side here. We don't have enough to cover a whole wall with this infantry. That's a very soft range. Yeah. 
One shot the peasant bowman down this side. Okay, yeah, let's clear at least one side of the wall here. Just like got into the knights here. Maybe they are clearing the wall. All arms. A little bit of help here. They routed. Talking uh, speed. These guys need help here. There's a bunch of knights coming on this side, and they're just stacking into the into this area here. Something here. Jahan is on a rampage. It's uh, the Sunesh thingy. Guys have a uh, uh, okay experience. Positioning and it's still affected.
guys, non heroes in the jungle around for those knights of the realm. Pigs in the dead here. This realm can hit Kel spawn really hard. See the uh, the massive HP uh, drop. After the charger thing, our guys win. You guys rank eight, though. It's a fun here as well, just the outside. Infantry did good. Oh, there are attacks to minimize damage. Damage from the wizard, uh, Morgan still did more damage in the end. Pasta sauce. Tell him some pasta with good sauce. So bring back howdy, huh? Bring back howdy. I didn't talk about weather. It's pretty much the same uh, the same weather every day you asked. This is December really here. I'm gonna use the underway so we don't need extra movement. It'd be sped I mean. So this guy's will go off to Parawan. It's a small area here and uh, Morgul is going after uh, Clan Angren. Acceleration plus one every turn. We got more campaign mood range. We're going against Horas, we're going for new recruits. Nine. That's been recruited uh, a while ago and rank nine. Meanwhile, uh, we can now recruit rank sixteen. Chaos, chaos. 
There's even a whale bright now. Hold on. Let's see. There's a discipline uh, war gore. And a set of bloodthirst uh, guy here as well. I think 21. I like uh, the Lord Wild the Beastman because of the uh, Bestial Surge. Malagor has Bestial Surge though. Shadow makes more sense, got a little bit more speed. But uh, we can also have a double bestial surge as well. Get all, also access to other things as well. This is uh, another false thing, this is going to be Malagor. This guy will get a new one then. Every army should have a shaman. Can the group now also rank 21, which is beautiful. Magister is here now. This is complete as well. Langer went to war with the vampires. They're wiping out dwarves, considering to destroy Karza Karak too. Well, look at this, the Chaos Rebels have just destroyed a settlement inside the blood ground. You know what that hat means? Nobody can resell it. A recruiting shortage. There is a distinct lack of able and willing bodies to join your forces for the ongoing wars. Your press gangers, recruiters, or straight up kidnappers are struggling to find volunteers. Recruitment cost has increased by 25% for all armies. Oh man, I'm not, can we afford this?
Sure. It doesn't affect the ogres, by the way. Yeah. Is that the last city? It is, it is. Shard of the Hearthstone. That's weird. The Chun Knight, right? An enchanted item, but it looks like an arcane item. Hmm. It's a very good enchant item for a wizard. Get more power uh, reserve, constant battle, lower miscast chance, overcast, overcast, overcast. Yeah, there's uh, there's definitely overcasts here. So what's the plan now? Uh, go after this place. These hordes are complete, uh, we just need to increase unit capacity. Will be pretty good uh, if we land in the trash infantry. Discipline uh, of Wargod is good for Big Zdeku's army. Here. It is, it just had a, had a proper force selected. Sweet war gore, pretty sweet. So it's almost done with the rating here as well. We have a massive bonus currently for another four turns.
These guys don't really like us, but uh, they might not do anything about it. If they do something about it, well, good luck. We're gonna have to have a pretty uh, scary stuff to deal with this shit. Since the area, two extra giants uh, should be considered. Because those guys might go for it. I have not started resetting yet. Maybe from the bottom. So there should be a cycle of reset here. Oh yeah, from the bottom. This guy is for favor and items. I don't need scouting that much because of the uh, witch in the blood grounds. Harassment is also optional. Uh, very shaman knowledgeable here. Scorch Grass Plains Building. Which one is this again? And this, so you start with this two. L2. Not mention of Pit Howl, huh? We'll be wiping out dwarves uh, all the way to Karzakarak. This nice money. Plague is spreading. What? Uh, this guy's just stuck at war with high elves. Vampires don't really like us, but uh, yeah, attack level uh, uh, power rank three. See what happens. Speak quick, fast. I'm too smart, clever for that. Challenge me, challenge me. No. Yeah, there's really no enemy, so. Ah, uh, speaker. So vampires don't like us, but doesn't mean they can do anything something about it. I only speak your tongue when challenging the gore bulls for exercise, beast man. He doesn't want to give me any money. Good. Uh, yeah, all good. Thou darest. I had worked with the uh, clan molders, so they're not doing so great. Yeah. Uh, let's continue here. We're very close to a short campaign victory. Just missing a, a ruination level. Okay, yeah, uh, these two are lost here, right? Yeah. By my hammer, I should slay you where you stand. A big alliance, so that's a big war here. Will make the uh, the evil factions happier with us, though. Oh, 
Well, the way we were doing right now is kind of uh, building into a, sh a long campaign victory. So once we clear uh, this one here, where will be the next one? Uh, this one made sense from the start, but it will be threatened by the uh, Empire, but could be just a temporary one. This looks like underway, so uh, I'd be spared, but that doesn't, doesn't really matter how we move here. This very rough terrain here. Now that we get him a Lenting War Herd, uh, we'll keep him together with uh, uh, Chaos Spawn. There's a big buff here. 15 attack is, uh, is no joke uh, on AoE. It can affect multiple units. Uh, yeah, this is called Blood Grounds. You get Hearthstone Shards, you start uh, with one, which you can uh, use to create a Blood Ground. Uh, in the Blood Ground you build Devastation, and this Devastation uh, can be used to create a uh, uh, complete ritual, which grants uh, uh, Mark's Ruination, which progresses uh, how they go to the campaign and for the uh, objective. And uh, once you complete the ritual, you get the Hearthstone shard, shard back, so you can keep expanding it. So you decide uh, where you want to put it. You see this uh, 30 number? That's uh, that's the uh, devastation. When you click on a region, it tells you uh, the the blood ground. So you can see, I click it here, and it tells me uh, the blood ground. It's gonna be just an extension of this mass blood ground. See this thing here? This is all gonna be a blood ground. Strange, it's at this one here. I guess it was at this one here. Ah, this is just weird. Why is this one part of it? It's all, almost like uh, this area here. Very weird. Yeah, I, I do really like this rework, and I always uh, had some fun with the Beastmen, uh, you know, as the time went on, uh, less and less, but uh, they done a very good job with this rework. Some, uh, you know, some rough stuff around the edges, some bugs, some things can be a little bit more polished and added, but uh, it's, it's one of their better uh, reworks. Might be even considered their best rework as well, considering what the Beastmen were before. City is uh, nearly dead. A very nice uh, uh, looting race. And uh, this blood ground uh, regarding raising has reached its potential. You can still uh, build up uh, battles uh, for it as well, but uh, we are uh, moving on. So we'll just stick the uh, 48 uh, Max Ordination here. 
how the rituals performed, all these ruins in this area. You see this icon here? It's called the Defiled Blood Ground because it's a lot of corruption and it cannot be uh, resettled. So it, it's a permanent ruin until uh, uh, Hurston gets destroyed and we make sure the Hurstons are uh, strong. So even by the, on their own can defeat a, an army, proper army. Usually they will need to outnumber the, the, to handle it. The area also uh, grants us vision. The area also can cause plague, slow down the enemy, and lower us their vigor as well. So they're also under risk of being uh, crippled in the uh, in the area too. Representing, you know, the chaos corruption. Uh, we are now at uh, 48 settlements raised in 58 turns. That is uh, kinda crazy. Next bolt gun is here. Kazakh is destroying Bretonians here. One thousand, one thousand. Let me check the hero stuff. I think we did. Guys, okay, rank ten. Uh, I'm gonna fear the herd. Better infantry. We have a lots of favor now. The hordes are nearly complete. So it's just not brain to just click, click, click everything. We are not even gonna use a third of these buildings in some hordes, but uh, for the completion. Let's uh, give them when it's complete. Because I can get more units, we have 1000. Uh, 1,000 red. Probably just transfer this one to Biggs Deku since it's rank 6. And unlock uh, more minor grade weapons. Pretty expensive unit to unlock, but uh, it's devastating. I can also bully large when used right, as long as they're gonna get directly charged. Yeah, we do have uh, some quest battles available. We had to raid a territory belonging to the dwarves, huh? Still shit on dwarves in the game, so we have time for that. got a Gorbul in the army, so we don't really need this giant anymore. The giant can go into another army. Nice to carry a, a smaller army. Also a siege attack, it's a tier 3 unit as well. We have a skill for uh, Centigors and Chariots uh, for our mobile units.
They have slightly lower damage than the uh, the regular Sandigos, but they have a range option. Also, uh, slightly uh, uh, helps in auto resolve. This one should also work on the Sigurds. Just range buff. But it is what it is. No notification for encamped army. Oh, these guys are fleeing. <laughs> Where are you going, friend? They don't really move often from their city. They know what's coming. There's a plague uh, killing them as well. Plague is really bad for them. We are not at war with them, so uh, the fact they are moving is in, is quite interesting. It's almost like uh, there's a war coordination happening here. That's the only way to explain it. So these guys just bend over here to keep to die. Must be a situation uh, with the war coordination. That don't make sense. Yeah, Clan Pestons lost a lot of military, so they're making their move. Like I said, these factions sometimes uh, make their move if there is a nearby weak, and, a weak enemy. They have the same behavior as the as the Wood Elves, uh, uh, these ones, I think. Uh -huh. So target is now Sacred Pools and Itza. We are not gonna bother with the Skaven here or the Undead. Might go after Techless though. Strong. She went to war with Dark Hills and she's not really using the cause that much. She's still trying to move around like this. Artie still hasn't been confederated, which is a little bit weird. He was nearly dead to uh, to the uh, what's his name, um, Nagarite an Al Alitanar. An the wars have fought in settlements. They have a very strong military. At least their enemies make sense. Yeah. Grimgor is also a world clan Ashen. That doesn't work for Grimgor. Clan Ashen is just too much for Grimgor if he fights the wars as well. But he rarely do any, uh, does uh, do well when it happens. It is all good here. Morgor is going to be hunting dwarves, Kazakhs and Bretonians. Taurox, Malagor uh, are messing up uh, Lastria and the New World. Big Sticks falls Kazakh around. RPs and Warhounds get more AP damage and uh, Razorgos get more damage overall. Uh, 
Very good for the hounds. It's also very good for the garrisons. Yeah, they it looks like a war coordination. They're dying to the plague, look at this. Nothing they can do. Just dead. The same uh, ground here, right? Look at this, we could actually get quite a bit of marks here uh, with little luck. The plague has destroyed this faction. We can avoid Itza's uh, uh, alliance uh, by joining war. So we can do diplomacy with the Count Pestilence. This way we can surprise attack a couple of Itza's armies to get more uh, devastation instead of them just uh, dispersing. <laughs> Bring me tribute gifts, and pestilence is at your service. They even paid us work. Man, the plague devastates this place. Got uh, oh, eleven thousand as well. Another glittering scales. These guys cannot retreat now since they have no settlements. Guys, almost immortal. Nice plague. Lots and lots of favor. Just like that, they poofed. Septimius Wiper, Immortality. Guys on rank 10. Uh, this is just Cunning Corbel. Yeah, this one's an army. It's a very rough moment here, just uh, we'll encamp and we'll underway next turn, I mean be spat. Now we are going to declare war on Itza as well. Maybe he can give us a little bit more money for it as well. And beg, I do not infect you with my my latest brew. Agreed. Nice. Well, what happened there, man? Where's your army? Much better loot is this. Damn, three thousand. Man, they are dying to the plague, man. The plague has fucked up everything here. I mean, uh, this is uh, this is why you build up blood grounds like this. It's just it's gonna eat everything alive if you do it like this. You might still get okay units here. <laughs> so we're looking for a couple of heroes here. Not that. We have 777. 777. I'm gonna get one of each heroes for minus 12 leadership. Makes sense. The cycle gorbals and wargos before that. Malagor, dark 
I think Grudy Hill is also on rank 16, but Shaman's on rank 21 because of Waldorf. It says the last uh, area in this uh, blood ground. Then we can move on Teclas. We could also destroy the Skaven and the Undead here, but it kind of makes sense to leave them uh, here. They, uh, they could go hostile on us, then we'll destroy them. There's other, other targets that make more sense to destroy. These are kind of like uh, unreliable buffers, which uh, also target uh, the other factions. They might completely ignore the beastmen because of that. There's always a chance they attack us with better relations. I enter plus 10 armor, it's nice. We said we would uh, put it here, huh? This is the next uh, Hearthstone. Towers, uh, the mountains and some of the Empire lands. Heck, even some of the other Lauren. These guys are both run of enemies here. Okay. This is the uh, next one here. Uh, yep. This is why the uh, death extra enforcement is good. It's like it's not gonna be enough for here, but sometimes it will. From uh, from this skill here. Been a large army here. It's one. Of, it's one of these cities here. The dying to the plagues. Uh, just uh, steamrolling here. And also, uh, only the Grail companions of all mm, could hope to best. Can't be. work on the yeah, of these guys. You would try with words. Two more enemies. They're not really intimidated by these guys. I think it's just just out of range of the reinforcement. Else, this guy is uh, automatically moving. Maybe on cooldown. Nope. Okay. Uh, this one is a bell here. The plague is killing the garrison, but didn't affect the army. Harpies against uh, uh, ever in the walls. These harpies have frenzy and uh, anti-infantry and e extra charge. But tons of this chariot into the uh, other army.
Um, we don't have to even bother with this. We have stock on this units. Kazakh for the Wino. These units have uh, no shields. But we got uh, stock on them as well. Chariots, you know. Man, Albrecht is getting ripped to shreds by the uh, by the harpies. Oh. It can actually be clicked on an area outside. There's no resistance is uh, getting murdered. Pushing it, but I think we're good. Still lacking, I uh, got a lot of experience on these units. Unless they get rank 7, you can do this more often, I think. Uh, two armored uh, units in that pack. One harp is good kill though. Unfortunate, but we'll get a new one. Still the well, this is not even rank 7. I think we're missing one point in the skill. The ideally, you want uh, to send a unit first. Let them get pinned and then get charged when they don't, can't really move. Instead of them uh, bracing for it and uh, pre uh, preparing for the uh, for the charge. Wow, Scott says when you start with discipline shaman, then get discipline gorbel. Event for playing Tarax. Nice. A discipline is not uh, not everything. Uh, cunning is excellent as well. Be even better than discipline in the big picture, but there's also the one for the minor damage as well. 
It's good that they're just discipline, it's not just the main thing. Nice to get you know things without cycling, right? This harp is with the AP, uh, it's uh, quite a bit of damage. They're not rank 7, they're missing one more, uh, more skill point. Was, uh, what you've seen that uh, sending harpies to, to attack the landing like that, when there were the Grail Knights there, that was a little bit reckless. But uh, shows you the power of the swarm from the sky. And when you look at the skills, we are still missing one point here. And uh, we can still get uh, more resistance charge and speed here. The speed matters even more because the cause of stock. Or the cooling the walls and use it more. Uh, this is fully built. Kazakh sword finished as well. Huh? Uh, the Imperial Standard is better than the Harpies. Harpies are flying infantry. Number two and number four. Should be a, a very nice race as well. What do we got here on this blood ground? I guess uh, we get just two regions for now. So there's a small arm in the city. It's all been done here, uh, I'm fairly sure. So Malgur's Horde is complete, Tarok's Horde is complete, Kazakh's Horde is complete, Morgus Horde is complete. Just because Dickens needs his Horde complete and that's all the Hordes are completed. Do some quest battles as well. Oh no, bring it on! How is the Tegla still alive? Uh, uh, that cost look really bad. Man, the Itza is dying to the plague. Only they had a commandment. The alliance could interact weirdly with uh, with chaos, so better not to ally until chaos uh, shows up. Campaign might be over before though. I don't really need any allies really. Ooh, they send everything they got. That's a lot of characters, man. All fighters. This terrain is uh, not good for uh, chasing this range.
There's potential to uh, to get to lose a lot of units here, but it looks like also a fun battle. Five, six, seven characters. That's actually no joke uh, uh, here. No joke. Well, if the army gets destroyed, we can see what happens to the horde. Gorbo is not immortal, though. Sandigur's kind of sucking on this battlefield. Gonna have to be patient until uh, they send all the infantry forward. They have anti beastman technology, and they got also a lot of other technologies, so this infantry is all good. What the hell? My most watched streamer of the year again. Thanks for the content. Well, thank you for watching, Kiruna. Thank you for supporting the channel. This can uh, go both ways, depending how uh, they use their reinforcements. We'll, f we'll fight this, but it can go bad. Uh, just one second, guys. One second. There's something got reset here. My uh, dashboard is set uh, for the uh, for the uh, uh, commands. Yeah. Now they they have a lot of shit here. The amount of characters is uh, most problematic. Worst case scenario, we lose the Gorobul. Worst case scenario, I think. I'll give you a prediction uh, while I take a short break. Victory or defeat? The battlefield is good against infantry, but it's bad against range. Uh, bear back.
my god. Have you seen that shit? Holy shit. What the hell? Okay, we're here, boys. Okay, prediction is up for victory or defeat. 
This is a little bit risky battle. Uh, we are uh, outnumbered inside a beast pad, which is bad for the Santigors. The enemy has four armies. Problem, seven characters. All fighters. Shit ton of great swords and some range. They have nearly all technology, including anti beast technology. The uh, minor army here is marching. Two of them. So two are marching. Fights like this, I wish I had a second Jabber Slide in the army. If they had retreated, I would have retreated. So it's a little bit risky, but uh, if the army gets wiped, uh, at least we can confirm something. Probably best here is to just retreat and uh, di uh, divide them and just kill them all. Looks like a good battle. Seven characters. No fucking joke. We have uh, Morgor with his big uh, corruption. And we got uh, Wizard that can also do a lot here. Oh boy. This is actually good, but they're everywhere around us. This makes the battle a little bit easier. Our infantry is uh, uh, are gonna get destroyed in this battle, but we have two fresh gore herds with shields, and uh, we have uh, the uh, the ungors, which uh, should be replaced at this point, anyways. Oh my God. <laughs> hey, Oscar. What did people predict here? Let's see. What did people predict? 19 users went for the victory with 268,000 shekels. Twenty-one percent went for a defeat. Hey, Scotty. Well, if uh, we lose, Scotty gets shit on of shekels, so I guess it's good. Well, uh, so battle of battles like this, we gotta check it out. <laughs> oh my god. Have you seen that shit? Holy shit. What the hell? So all of the reinforcements, uh... All the reinforcements come out of side here. We only knew which one was which. It makes sense to uh, uh, hit this one hard. And once they are dead, hit this one hard. And then go for the main army. Sheer amount of numbers will crush the uh, reinforcing uh, units. Still want to have a little bit charge distance here. Dark 
People sending us in the back. So we'll crush their reinforcements and then uh, focus on the on the main army. Look at the size of this tree, holy shit. After the charge work, you select your infantry and uh, select the enemy. When they get in the charge distance, they'll start charging. And they'll get uh, bonus to uh, leadership, bonus to uh, weapon strength and uh, attack. That character. There's actually a lot of characters coming from this direction. Let's think about this. We're gonna have to fight characters in this area. One is all got wrecked. The Zabra slide is doing its thing. No, 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 no. This one we got uh, here. We got uh, swordsman there. Halberts will grind us here. And if they were all behind uh, the main army, uh, would have been a different story here. There. I think we cleared everybody here. More coming from this side. Oh, there's actually more, a lot of range there. Clear the uh, this uh, side on the top. Uh, this is actually good uh, mosh pit. For those range guys, yeah, 
Jabber Slide will do massive damage here. And, uh, co combined with Morgor, it's uh, brutality here. Yeah, it keeps uh, raging there. It'll be easy if we get to clear their characters here. Enforcement uh, uh, went really out of way this battle. The jumble slide dominates uh, large groups of infantry. The jumble slide did really a lot of damage this uh, fight. Wizard didn't do really much. We could have used more spells a little bit more often. One of the reinforcements was a shit ton of infantry with a couple of characters. Only 8,000 battle loot here. Another 1400, I'll take that. This was pretty much the, uh, all of the military of Wisland. Uh, uh, one skill point. We got the Children of Chaos at this point. Three more skill points. Hmm. Twelve defense uh, is looks like makes the most sense. This is our next uh, Hearthstone here. Number two, number four. Get rid of the Ungers from the army, really. <laughs> they are almost getting rank 7. Getting a defense on Morgul will make him harder to hit and harder to kill. 12 defense is stronger than uh, 15 armor for him.
Uh, Gorbul is uh, still getting there with ranks. Look at this. Still getting there with ranks. We can recruit all rank 16 on. Looking for a couple of heroes here. Uh, Trade tape to be the right ones though. A hero cap used to be 10 in this game until they released uh, uh, Queen of the Crown, the uh, blood, uh, the uh, Lariel on Hellbrand DLC. Then they all of a sudden unlocked the, uh, put it to 100 for some reason. Not 10 to 20, but uh, you know, to 100. This one. This position here. Huh? God damn! This one is uh, not that uh, often. Huh? Let me uh, get the notepad. So this one is a four. Four, one. This one has to be a four or two. So it's a two is up, so it's a four. And this one is a two. This one has to be a three. Red, yellow, purple, red, blue, yellow, purple, purple, blue, yellow, red, purple, blue. I don't remember this one. It's not blue. Purple, uh, blue. This one only has a red. Purple, blue, yellow, red. Three red on. Looks like it's three red. Three red on that one bottom.
get favor in uh, items so, uh, from these things, it's worth it. Those are uh, a decent item here. Let's do the old wolf first here. I don't want to get surprised on this side, so we need vision here. Not in this world or the other. So this blood ground here is um, border uh, just border left. It's only separate. Hey, Homer. Good morning. Very quick, Tria. Huh? Medium casualties. Nobody dead, huh? I don't think anybody was in range here, because then the, uh, uh, this one will be in range uh, as well. Shit on money. Now we broke the bank. Here, let's go for uh, veteran stuff. This one was uh, created after this one, it means this one is still in the area. Yeah, but Brion switched to Aquitaine. Only what uh, 72 marks, and they only care about marks. Mm, we could have actually checked this 58. It works. At eleven hundred dread. And also cycle a gore, war gore. And we need another minotaur. It's for the other army.
It's a, it's a massive blood gun for sure. <laughs> this one is just eats a left here and then techless. They're dying from the plague, so they're in a really bad shape. Anyways, uh, before we continue, boys, I'm gonna be a food break. See ya after after break. Your children, your very lives, and what does the Empire do? Nothing! Nay, worse than nothing! The Imperial Machine enforces the will of the Dalmor against its own people! So rise up, rise up, children of the Empire! Rise up, Stormcloaks! Embrace the word of mighty Talos, he who is both man and divine. Trust in me, White Run. Trust in Heimskirk, for I am the chosen of Talos. I alone have been anointed by the night to spread his holy word. Talos the mighty. Talos the unerring, Talos the unassailable, to you we give praise. We are but maggots, writhing in the of our own corruption, while you have ascended from the dung of mortality, and now walk among the stars. But you were once man, I... And as man, you said, let me show you the power of Talos Stormcrown, born of the north, where my bread is long winter. I breathe now in royalty and reshape this land which is mine. I do this for you, Red Legions, for I love you. I love you. Love, even as man, great power, in royalty, and reshape this land which is mine. I do this for you, Red Legions, for I love you. I love, love, even as man, great power, cherished us, for he saw in us, in each of us, the future of Skyrim. The future of Tamriel! And there it is, friends. The ugly. We are the children of man. Talos is the true god of man. Ascended from flesh to rule the realm of spirit. The very idea is 
inconceivable to our elder overlords to share in the heaven. With man? Ha! They can barely tolerate our presence on Earth! Today, they take away your faith. But what of tomorrow? What then? Do the elves take your homes? Your businesses? Your children? Your very lives? And what does the Empire do? Nothing! Nay, worse than nothing! The Imperial Machine enforces the will of the Dalmor against its own people! So rise up! Rise up, children of the Empire! Rise up, Stormcloaks! Embrace the word of mighty Talos! He who is both man and divine! Trust in me, White Brother! Trust in Heimsker! For I am the chosen of Talos! I alone have been anointed by the Knight to spread his holy word! Talos the mighty! Talos the unerring! Talos the unassailable! To you we give praise! We are but minds, writhing in the filth of our own corruption, while you have ascended from the dung of mortality. Now walk among the stars! But you were once man, I, and as man you said, let me show you the power of Kalos Storm Crown, born of the North, where my breath is long winter. I breathe now in royal and reshape this land which is mine. I do this for you, Red Legion, for I love you. I love, love. In royalty and reshape this land which is mine. I do this for you, Red Legions, for I love you. I love, love, even as man, great Talos, cherished us. For he saw in us, in each of us, the future of Skyrim, the future of Tamriel. And there it is, friends, the ugly truth. We are the children of man. Talos is the true god of man, ascended from flesh to rule the realm of spirit. The very idea is inconceivable to our elven overlords, sharing the heavens. With man? Ha! They can barely tolerate our presence on Earth! Today, they take away your faith. But what of tomorrow? What then? Do the elves take your homes? Your businesses? Your children? Your very lives? And what does the Empire do? Nothing! Nay, worse than nothing! The Imperial Machine enforces the will of the Dalmor against its own people! So rise up! Rise up, children of the Empire! Rise up, Stormcloaks! Embrace the word of mighty Dalos! He who is both man and divine! Trust in me, white man! Trust in Heimsker, for I am the chosen of Talos. I alone have been anointed by the Knight to spread his holy word. Talos the mighty, Talos the unerring, Talos the unassailable. To you we give praise. We are but mad. Writhing in the field of 
of our own corruption, while you have ascended from the dung of mortality, and now walk among the stars. But you were once man, I, and as man you said, let me show you the power of Talos Storm Crown, born of the north, where my breath is long winter. I breathe now in royalty and reshape this land which is mine. I do this for you, Red Legions, for I love you. I love, love. And reshape this land which is mine. I do this for you, Red Legion. For I love you. I love, love, even as man, great power, cherished us. For he saw in us, in each of us, the future of Skyrim, the future of Tamriel. And there it is, friends, the ugly truth. We are the children of man. Talos is the true god of man, ascended from flesh to rule the realm of spirit. The very idea is inconceivable to our elven overlords, sharing the heavens. With man? Ha! They can barely tolerate our presence on Earth! Today, they take away your faith. But what of tomorrow? What then? Do the elves take your homes? Your businesses? Your children? Your very lives? And what does the Empire do? Nothing! Nay, worse than nothing! The Imperial Machine enforces the will of the Dalmor against its own people! So rise up! Rise up, children of the Empire! Rise up, Stormcloaks! Embrace the word of mighty Dalos! He who is both man and divine! Trust in me, White Blood! Trust in Heimsker, for I am the chosen of Talos. I alone have been anointed by the Ninth to spread his holy word. Talos the mighty, Talos the unerring, Talos the unassailable. To you we give praise. We are but my. Riding in the field of our own corruption, while you have ascended from the dung of mortality, and now walk among the stars. But you were once man, I, and as man you said, let me show you the power of Talos Storm Crown, born of the north, where my bread. Is long winter. I breathe now in royalty and reshape this land which is mine. I do this for you, Red Legions, for I love you. I love, love even as man, great power, in royalty and reshape this land which is mine. For you, Red Legions, for I love you! I love, love, Oh even my man. god! Great Have you seen that shit? Yes. Holy shit! For he saw what in the us, hell? in each of us, the future of Skyrim, the future of Tamriel! And there it is, friends, the ugly. We are the children of man. Talos is the true god of man, ascended from flesh to rule the realm of spirit. 
very idea is inconceivable to our elven overlords. Sharing a hell with man? Ha! They can barely tolerate our presence on Earth. Today, they take away your faith. But what of tomorrow? What then? Do the elves take your homes? Your businesses? Your children? Your very lives? And what does the Empire do? Nothing! Nay, worse than nothing! The Imperial Machine enforces the will of the Dalmor against its own people! So rise up! Rise up, children of the Empire! Rise up, Stormcloaks! Embrace the word of mighty Talos! He who is both man and divine! Trust in me, White Brother! Trust in Heimster! For I am the chosen of Talos! I alone have been anointed by the Knight to spread his holy world! Talos the mighty, Talos the unerring, Talos the unassailable! To you we give... Yeah, big boys. Food finished, let's continue. Looks like this city is fucked, been dying to the plague. Hard to ambush them when they're in Astromancy, but we could lightning strike them. This is a very nice amount of uh, very nice amount of uh, points. Most of them are dead here. More battles for more devastation. Plague is uh, destroying the city's for us. A very nice favor is piling up. So, Chakwa. Uh, other than the Skaven settlement, this is done. I formed Rachel. We're now at uh, 476. We just need 24 more. Speed. <clears throat> These are sending or throwing axes on. Huh? In this one, all uh, uh, could be all sending as well. Speed, ammunition, and a little time reduction. Sigurds too. This guy. This guy. On Gorgon. That is uh, 600 radar. Let's get armor for the Gorgon in the arm. Let's see if it works. 50 armor. Let's put us to 60 armor. And it's bugged. It gives us two Gorgons. All capacity increasing uh, things. 
infection effects, item skills are bugged. They uh, count double. It's a bad bug. It's been only five months, guys. Give them another year, they'll fix it. Right in Warhammer 3. The one for the Harpies on Malagor is bugged. All over for the Chaos Spawn is bugged. The faction effect on the uh, Morgor is bugged. And the Gorgon skill is bugged. Uh, did we check the, uh, the heroes this turn? I forgot. Just the Wargor. What kind of Wargor are we looking for? Are we looking for, uh, for Malagor? Leadership debuff. I think they're gonna go for a uh, Chakra there. There's nowhere to they go, there's Kevin to the east and uh it's all ruins. Orgon and Bellow skill is still uh, okay here, but uh they have minders as well. And it makes no sense to put Gorgons in this army. Mindless also will get extra damage. From his... Uh, not only Mindless will get extra damage from his uh, trait. They also get Gore Fist. They also get additional 5 defense, so... Getting Battle Skill for Gorgons makes no sense. Other than for the original capacity. Well, the strongest unit uh, to spam is uh, is the Minotaur. This is a rank 9 Minotaur uh, with shield, 69 defense. This damage should go even higher, much, much higher. They also have uh, uh, regeneration and more attack here. So I guess the most OP one is Taurox with Minotaurs. I saw Taurox, uh, there's, a, there's a couple of units that are very good. Double slides go there because they just bully infantry. But it's monsters. Uh, yeah, you could put like uh, two or three heroes in uh, Taurox army with plus 10 weapon strength for the Minotaurs. And uh, just a combination of a bunch of Minotaurs. Since you have to unlock two battle skills. We can go uh, Hoof Heavyweights and Freakish Mutations. Then you have option for Gorgon and Jabrosil as well. Uh, I know we don't care for Steam Achievements and this is all good, but curious, do you have all the single player ones for Warhammer 2? Uh, I do, I do uh, m uh, complete some of them when I feel like it, uh, Oscar, but I have not completed all of them because some of them can only be completed in the Vortex. Uh, achievement wise, uh, this is my uh, my percentage completed. Uh, 94%. I'm missing uh, 8 achievements. So, uh, you can see here. Some of them can only be completed in the Vortex. Even if it doesn't mention Iron Vortex. What's the rarest achievement? Uh, rarest achievement. Uh, playing as the eggs of Nehek craft everything uh, within the Mortal Cult. And after that, uh, Norska legendary uh, campaign. I 
I did complete this one in the last uh, cut up campaign of stream. So it passed like 20 turns while clicking uh, enter and enter and enter and enter. So I completed this one. You can see it here. So just like enter 20 times and keep a track which items you crafted. Some of these achievements got added later, so it's just also completion thing. Three hundred there. Good here. Off stream, that was like twenty interns. Uh, are in Gardner. I would be silly not to start a stream for that. While I was uh, doing something else. It was just to get the achievement, you know. Absurd. Curious uh, where this guy will go. The half the world is uh, messed up and uh, the chaos is not even shown up. A reminder guys that uh, there will be a super short stream uh, in the day following the uh, release of uh, the new Witcher season because I'll be watching uh, both seasons uh, on the same day. So probably gonna be like through two days. There'll be a short stream, probably in the late hours. <laughs> Armor percent for monitor units. It's a matters most to uh, Taurox. The monitors do uh, don't have a lot of armor. The armored ones have more armor, uh, so this helps. What these guys can do, I don't think they can do anything. They're just gonna be hunted down and killed. Everything here is uh, blood ground. Austria has become uh, beastmen uh, hunting grounds. I tolerate the Skaven, but Techless is uh, attacking them, so we'll attack Techless. So there's still Techless here uh, with his elements. This is the first time I see you playing Beastmen. Uh, we'll play the 11 Beastmen campaigns in Warhammer 2. Just ace cookies. We're looking for uh, specific traits depending on the army. We're looking for uh, uh, Vorgor for Malagor, so leadership penalty. Same for a Gorbul. And here uh, there's the options here, but I don't want army buff, either minor damage or discipline. This is the first time I have seen you not create the Minotaur Doomstack. Mm -hmm. But you missed the uh, uh, all the Harpies uh, and the Bestigors campaigns. Capacity has uh, changed how the Beastmen uh, build their armies. You can still push uh, one type of units though. We are also fighting on uh, two uh, two continents at the same time. 
We have five armies, uh, you gotta make sure everybody uh, is a good army. Or, you know, getting there. Absolutely not. You guys have not moved here. I My axe thirsts for war. For the wisdom of the layer. Well, I always used uh, other units, but just uh, I always had uh, at least one army with my enters. Yeah, that hidden uh, hidden mechanics uh, start product like uh, attack intervals. Uh, how many targets can they hit? Uh, you might underestimate anti-large anti-infantry. There is also uh, unit mass. Now there is also collision damage, hidden start. So there's a bunch of hidden stats. There's also weapon range. No, none of this ability, none of these stats can you see here. favor stocked up now the hordes are built up which basically tells me that tells you that we should uh, be using more of uh, the items in the wars of dread or uh, get more hordes this is a benefit of the range here if uh, uh, the army wasn't attacking a range of Dotterbug, they could have attacked without Morgan reinforcing, but he can't because of uh, Kazark. Okay, Kazr uh, Morgan is complete here. Again, the troll defense here. Five attack. Got uh, all the useful campaign skills, and uh, we got the battle skills with one extra. Went uh, with Sentigors and the Chariot Bell skill because of uh, Sentigors buff here. And now uh, we have the uh, Veteran here. His uh, top skills are not that important except a few of them. Like uh, Abstraction of Zinch, uh, Held of Corruption, Field Blood Blood, Touch by Corruption and Carnal Horns. Why do you not spend the money on the maximum building when available? Is there some benefit to piling it up? Uh, well, like I said, uh, we, uh, this is just a recent thing we piled up. Uh, upgrading this building just grants you two more giants. Considering we have a lot of favor now, we could uh, start doing these things. It just started to happen now with the extra money, extra favor. We upgrade uh, the dread building, but uh, the second building is just two extra giants. But now, considering uh, we are suddenly piled up favor, all the hordes are uh, nearly completed, so it makes sense to get those two extra giants, even if most, most locations will never get attacked. And if they get attacked, they might have enough, because they will not attack on uh, Garrison for giants. This building is completely optional to upgrade to a higher tier. Well, this one is recommended because uh, extra dread. The only thing you get from this building is uh, you get better garrison, and locally in that region, so only inside the brass keep, uh, they'll get slowed a bit when they start to turn here. And you can see this is a very small region, so that doesn't matter. The effect that matters here is the uh, the plague and uh, exhaustion caused by the plague in the all blood ground region, so the, in the whole red area. In this, you can see this area here. So if we think that we need better garrison, uh, we upgrade this. On tier 2, doesn't matter at all. Pointless. On tier 3, get two giants. But uh, what it does, it replaces two harpies in the garrison with two giants. 
Some battles to harpies might be better than to giants, depending on how much range the enemy has. So, like I said, optional and in some situations it's just worse. Favor is used to upgrade buildings in the horde, which we upgrade every, everything at this point. And uh, to unlock these items here. Some, are, some of these items are very powerful. Like the Banner of Madness or the Champion's Essence. Banner of Gorok is also uh, uh, pretty good. And look at this, we're spending half our favor in a couple of clicks. And these mine enters uh, lose some armor, but they get ridiculous uh, damage buff. What of madness that fits best on Kazrak right now? We have uh, 920. Mm -hmm. This the whole army gets a strider, so Benoit's is a little bit weaker here. That physical resistance and the uh, aura of madness is uh, very good on chariot. Makes his chariot deadlier. Ten attack and P fifteen weapon strength. That's very nice. Fifteen skills uh, fits more on the shaman. This guy's a total hide. Corvus have skilled above the army, eh? Uh, on the battlefield. Glittering skills, glittering skills. Uh, Gelt is actually a good trait for uh, Morgor. This uh, composition uh, could definitely uses more armor. 
Do the Talisman Preservation here, Troll Hide is great here. This is like an exception to that armor. I'll just skip Gildan Scales for another Shaman. We don't have it on this army. I guess the Borbo can use it. Mm, it kinda is better than the Charm Shield. You can see, uh, Manic is easily spent. Which most we got recently. So what do we need need here, Brion? And this will be done here as well. Uh, we need what 24 marks. Mm -hmm. After that, we don't need the marks anymore. We just uh, need to decide what we want to keep uh, raised. How much can we expect here on an attack? You should get a little bit more infantry here. We have a skimming campaign in progress, but it's kind of like in cruise mode. But uh, if you go check YouTube, there's like a 190 campaigns you can watch on playlists from start to finish. There's a shit ton of skimming. And um, well, uh, new streamers need all the help they can get, guys. Streaming this day and age is brutal. Literally stream for, for a couple of viewers uh, all day. Infantry, Beasties, and Minotaurs. Mm, we should get more infantry here. Vestigor's unlock is uh, crazy expensive. The pigs in this army uh, might be quite exceptional. Ten anti infantry, uh, but uh, hmm. if you get a charge with this unit, it's actually massive. But it's, uh, you know, they fucked up these things. Things like this got weaker since the cavalry uh, uh, fix. I wish uh, this was infantry size, not large. We need to get the little Brion and that will uh, complete the ritual. Mm, this one actually is missing growth next turn.
a little nature, uh, who knows? I can do a couple of simple things to adjust it a bit. Like lower the uh, reload time reduction uh, range gets from uh, experience. That would be a good start. It will also lower ammunition on most range units. Or remove uh, 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 this completely and just make the ammunition uh, local to the army, part of the replenishment system. It sounds like a core uh, mechanic of the game, but uh, you know. What else can you do? 10% damage for Minotaur, Cygros, Giants, and Gorgons. This is great for uh, uh, all these units. That four turns. Beastmen are creatures of atavistic fury, and uh, it takes little to drive them into a frenzy of unbridled aggression. I think uh, the best thing to do is to uh, base the whole game on a core mechanic of uh, replenishment. And they should also cap the replenishment to about 20%, not 50. The things go a little bit slower. 50% replenishment is uh, a little bit too high. And part of this replenishment should also be ammunition and winds of magic. So we're gonna raise Brion here. Is there a way to check how much ammo range units are carrying? Yeah. You can see here 14 ammunition. Reset every bell. Uh, not every unit carries the uh, same amount of armor. Some have more. And some factions are specialized with ranged. It is a possibility that with the introduction of the Wood Elves and Elves in general in Warhammer 2, the range has uh, gone further. Just to keep up with the Elves. You remember how they buffed uh, Crossmen to get more uh, AP damage on the Empire and the Dwarves? Stuff like this. Our legion went for World Walker, so they don't intend to, to fight, fight us uh, right now. Getting uh, lots of uh, dread per turn just by having these hordes. Uh, Talbeklin Wisland Karzakarak from the, uh, the list. <laughs> so that could be uh, separate things. Oh, 
Emperor is in deep shit and they're uh, 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 also fleeing from Morgor. I refuse. Not possible. My axe thirsts for war. I will not obey. If we jump here, uh, they might go for Dornbach uh, without this. Makes sense to uh, hit this one first, then the dwarves. We need 1500 red uh, to get extra stuff here before they arrive. I guess it's fine. This guy's the last element. Do not wait, fight. Yeah. So we'll finish off these guys first. Is it viable to use a hero to kill an army with assault? Uh, I can't really completely wipe them out. Depending on the tier of the units, uh, they're also going to be damaged. Single entities cannot be killed by that. We can do enough damage to cripple them, but not really full destroy them. Does it have a higher ambush chance? This guy has 85, Kazar has 75. What does this guy have 85? Make no sense, Kazar has a trait. Is this uh Lord's Army? Makes no sense. But it is hiding in Kazakh. Well, this uh, this skill might work uh, differently. It says here. Cities uh, marching. Uh, just uh, need a few minutes, guys. Be right back.
I'm here, boys. Sorry for interruption. Okay, we're done uh, down here. We just have to move these guys here. This Kazakh has uh, lower ambitions than the other guys. This makes no sense. Maybe something a region effect. Yeah, it's a region thing. You can see uh, 50, uh, 75, 60. It is forbidden. We'll try to ambush uh, Fain Chantress here. There's a fail on 75%. Heavy calories here. Uh, oh, that's too much heavy calorie. We're gonna ambush here, and now we bought both armies. <laughs> Good reinforcement range here. We got ambush again. As are supposed to have the highest ambush chance. If you put a kind of heroes, uh it's pretty much like Skaven uh, fully fully set up. And chance to give us more replenishment. Doesn't seem to work at all. Hard to say, we have to take a little more damage, but when you look at this unit here, it uh Considering we have ec extra here, yeah, this doesn't work at all. The trait uh, might not work. It might be buffing the uh, the standard replenishment, not the horde replenishment. Uh, but for beastmen, the trait uh, might be useless. Uh, we don't have any veteran units yet. But look at apocalyptic uh, vision. I can have a nice health on the chariot. He gets even cheaper spells. Don't have any spells even sorted right now here. This is uh, 16. Uh, Don't have any uh, access to any veterans either. We got the uh, Beast Lord Lash here as well. Razgor Herds can end up in this army too. Got an uh, Alpha Beast as well. This is the last uh, uh, area here in the region. Yep. Alter Soul kills uh, the gores here. Armor. Is it Twitch issues again? The chat uh, just keeps connecting. Looks like it.
think they put a unit here. Put one of them uh, closer to the right side so these guys can go up as well. This guy still has a shield on his back when he's uh, on this thing. That's a nice detail. And he's 84 attack. Fucking hell, that's uh, melee stats for a hero. It's not even a Gorbo. Look at the wall instantly getting deleted. Paladin is getting deleted at the same time. Get some uh, uh, vigor here. Flock of Doom. I don't know capture this star. There's somebody uh, even up there anymore. The like door is bugged. What do we have? Harpus. the HP in the suit. Mantle of Gorok, so the unit murders the enemy unit. Massive attack and damage buff. What are those? Knights of the Realm? Knights of the Realm. On the large cavalry. Or has been captured. Captured after the bug. I don't know what's gonna happen to this cavalry units. They do have armor though. Looks like they have instantly demoralized. They're melting. It's 90 arm, uh, 90 arm cavalry. Yeah. Oh, they have some uh, Pegasus knights there. Let's restore some vigor. Yeah, remember the harpies are not flying uh, large unit, they're infantry. Flock of Doom was good there. Eh? 
I didn't even see the peg the second Pegasus unit. A second Pegasus unit there? I just might imagine it. Sarpus don't have rank 7 yet. There is uh, such a thing as uh, sending too many harpies uh, to attack a single unit. It's usually more than four, but it looks good. Three is probably optimal. Sixty turn to get uh, more favor than we can spend. Still the same turn, right? Yeah. Uh -oh. <laughs> this area is done. We don't care about the orcs uh, or the vampires. Perform the ritual. Okay, and we have reached maximum marks of ruination. 500. Anyone else binge watch Witches in one this week? I'm gonna uh, rewatch it, Marconos, tomorrow. Uh, I guess at uh, the end of the day. Then I'm gonna watch season 2 uh, when it gets released. No stream tomorrow? Yeah, there is a stream tomorrow. It's not gonna be a stream two days later. It's gonna be still a stream, but a short one. I'll just do a jibber jabber on the beastman. On the new beastman. Five AP on. Same as Razor Standard. Very good for the Harpies. Trust me, we got lots to say about the new beastman. Chaos spawn is over capacity if I disband those. This is a nice emergency. Which arm is using chaos spawn here? Two extra chaos spawn here. Um, I'm gonna all disband them. Get rid of this uh, thing here and put me another AP bander here. But you don't want to trim up? There's, there's no more him to trim up, uh, Pratic. It's just more teasing and hyping. We, we saw it once and that's it. If I watched it again, probably would have looked much worse. I 
I did a, a talk about the Sieges product. I'm not sure if you missed the video. Guys, uh, if you're wondering how to access these uh, videos in the playlists, because some people still don't know. So if you go to uh, Twitch the stream, uh, below the stream, when you scroll down, you get a stream information, like uh, this thing here. We got uh, uh, games here, various games here. The Jibber Jabber uh, playlist is here. And if you guys missed uh, uh, the Cornbers Skate Siege review, you can uh, watch it here. This is where all, all they'll end up. There's uh, 190 campaigns. And uh, you click this uh, playlist here, and uh, you'll see campaigns listed from the newest to the oldest ones. And there are some other games here uh, and some other videos. This is where you find the videos. But if you want to watch on Twitch for some reason, uh, you can just go under videos here. Uh, and you can check like past broadcasts uh, or stuff like clips. All the highlights end up on YouTube because it's harder to watch them here than on YouTube. YouTube is more convenient and uh, yeah, I do get a little bit money over time from it. But it's just a WOTS channel. Pretty much got my first YouTube money today after three years. That's how long it took to uh, for that one to actually get to uh, the point where uh, I could get like uh, you know money out of it. Uh, when it was worth it to actually put the bank account to get the money out of it, you know. Walk. It's actually three and a half years, I think. Three and a half years. This will get here. We need to unlock more units. I'm gonna sell with drunk stream. Uh, no, no, I can't really be getting wasted there these days. Good night, Salm. Can I creation one? I had just uh, some wine earlier, uh, Sparta. Moderation, you know, moderation. You know the final battle now. 
And we can do some quest battles as well. We can look at the start of the turn with Kazark. They're destroying the minor dwarf factions on the way to Karazakarax because uh, they'll get confederated while the Karaza as the Karazakarax getting destroyed. Oh, look at this. This is brutal. This is brutal. They turns of mega damage for infantry and all armies. This also works on my enters the extra attack. All the infantry get extra damage. They haven't made a move here because I guess they are intimidated by it. The plague is starting to spread here as well. This affects the uh, the top right side of uh, the forest and they can plague and spread further here. Okay, uh, start of the turn. Mm, we'll do a quest battle here. We should uh, probably just check heroes first. We are recruiting and disbanding heroes, so a new one appears next turn with a, a random early generated trait. Until we get the traits we want, like this one for Mal Malagor. And this one is great for uh, for Taurox. And those two will be recruited uh, after we move, because the heroes then will spawn on top of the hordes. So, quest battle for uh, Kazrak's armor. Kazrak has a good armor. Pro hide is not really needed uh, since champion essence. Enchanted um, item. Mr. Resistance is okay. Uh, okay, uh, Kazrak is a dark male quest battle. We are fighting against other beastmen. We also get some dread. And we get his armor, which is a uh, really good armor. In battle, when he's in melee, he gets extra 20% ward save, which is a lot for armor. And he has other things on it. Two uh, more battle effects and one for the uh, campaign. And most importantly, Kaz also going to get a lot of experience here. Favor and Dread. Uh, pff, to be honest with you guys, I don't even remember this battle. I don't even remember it. Put the AP on the units from the left. The objectives for the uh, these battles have been reworked, so it's more realistic than now. I usually just ignore them and use other items. This uh, armor wasn't special in the past, so easily ignored. And the battle and the uh, quest required a lot more objectives. It might still do uh, if you play Kazakh, or it might have completely been reworked. 
This army is really weak to a charge. Those are what, regular centigors? I forgot one of the great weapons down here. It's rounded, so I'm gonna take massive damage. I think we got just in time here. Just leave up their attack. I love Gorok for a big damage buff. We keep casting spells to make sure our vigor doesn't go down. Let's the mind charge the uh, Sandy Gors. Tiger there, we'll send the mine through the chopping. here. You can see uh, we've been fighting and our Uyghur is just not going down. That's beautiful. We're starting the Uyghur with Bestial Surge. Seven the large bonus. Can uh, take up uh, good ground here. Yeah. 
debuff here. This is gonna be damage on this side. Let's to wait for those guys to get pinned before we send those guys in. Then we'll get charged on the harpies. We won't do the opposite here. Less damage. These miners don't have uh, Bella, Bella skills yet. Unit getting uh, uh, life taking damage. I guess there's a little no damage as well. Units are taking some damage. This unit is still over half entities. The shaman is also missing uh, the AoE damage spell. It was a situation for this and not Wild Tide. Our captives. Direct to sacrifice before the hearthstone, captives are ripped apart and consumed by the ever ravenous beastmen. It's like uh, public barbecue boys. So, this is Dark Mail for Kazra. Gets 10 armor, 20 magic resist, and enemies will have a uh, lower chance to uh, succeed if they harass him with uh, assault units, uh, in the replenishment, block army. And uh, when he's in melee, he'll get 20% ward save. This one looks like the... Look at the carcass on his ideal. Look at the carcass on blood ground. It extends on, on, even on Mirigliano and uh, uh, Tubaro. Meanwhile, Bill Bali doesn't see carcass on. This has got to be a bug. Look at this, look at this blood ground here. This is a must blood ground. Really massive. Mm, skin blight is uh, terrible for blood ground. This is even uh, Karak Boofder here. Mm. 
Harp is only getting uh, experience here. 54 attack Harp is on. I guess because of the event. Harp is getting missile resistance, speed, and charge bonus. Sixty-two charge harpies. The fuck? They get anti-infantry. It's in all journals. It should work on all the beastman infantry, including uh, gores and harpies. Ungors, Ungors. Kazar gives them extra charge, Amir, and uh, and Horde has uh, is frenzied. Uh, you get also extra egg charge bonus. So you get four boss to charge. <laughs> They do have a solid base charge, the reason why they're, uh, you know, lower attack. And Kazakh's army harpies are there full time. And uh, with all the buffs you can use harpies uh, at any stage of the campaign. When you apply them to the right unit, avoid them getting shot and charged, they overperform. Okay, whistling is down. Going to Karak no now. Uh, yeah, I did see the flyover. Uh, uh, he, uh, look a little bit like uh, Heroes Might Magic, but they did this with Warhammer 2 already. Uh, I guess they're uh, moving a little bit forward. There's a lot of uh, good stuff in uh, Heroes and Might Magic they could put into uh, on a uh, Warhammer campaign map. Um, thinking, uh, yeah, we don't have to worry about this position here. It's just cave in here. But, uh, what happens uh, if Teclas is gone here? Yes. Curse my crowded psyche. This guy still have no enemy. The awakening and the clump pestilence. They might go after the high elves. Banner of Gorok. Gorok was a legendary mantor, ferocious as a storm, his spirit mantle is terrible but dangerous to the bearer. So the banner lowers the mantor's armor by 30, but it grants them 40 attack and 50 weapon strength. Yeah, that's just a casual buff. That is beyond ridiculous. I think it's best suited for the shield monitors. <laughs> I 
we equip this banner all of a sudden it's close victory huh? from uh, close to uh, decisive look at the damage man this this unit does more damage than uh, most heroes per entity So, what the hell is this position here? Wisdom awaits. Looks like uh, this is their only army here. We just move the army out of the territory uh, and they gain leadership. Might uh, make the altar all different now. Should have uh, fought first for moving Malagor. Roll high now. What do we use on Malago right now? Trickster Helm. So there's no acts of healing now. It's a little bit uh, disturbing. Why not? Why not? So looks like the leadership uh, didn't modify this at all. We have a march stance. It's our first battle against the, uh, the high elves. Not resolving the out resolving this region, fuck that shit. All the scar for life. We do have a uh, shaman available that has plus ten percent minor damage. So the minor damage can go even over two hundred, which is uh, godly. This guy has a tug buff. Mm. This damage on this uh, shielded minotaur is just like, like. <laughs> what the shit? I had uh, actually more damage in this than minotaurs before they added that banner. I was stacking a lot of heroes. Oh. 
Minotaur is just absolute brutality in a, on a melee unit. This one can go to the center. They have Silver and Guard, uh, they can fight off some of these things. Or Mandricus will share that dragon. There's actually two dragons. Let's see if they can uh, handle uh, two each. Mm, not sure about that. They will not land, so they might get uh, smacked. This one actually landed. The, uh, the technology for these, these don't work, so they're gonna be a little bit weaker there. Oh, looks like this one is getting chopped. Minotaur's got caught him as well. This one is actually getting wrecked by two Manticores. Nice. Spearman hurt with shield, just murdering all those uh, peasants. I'm a bad Spearman. Just a uh, high-level Spearman. I have a, currently a massive buff for infantry damage. I wanna say something here, but I'm saving for my Jiva job regarding this. I think it's, uh, it's a good observation of this uh, new Beastman rework. We're gonna do jibber jabber on the beastman uh, on the day of uh, which it, uh, which at least. Five hour jibber jabber. Ah, pff. probably gonna be like three hours. On here as well. We might not be able to do it in Star Tower now, but it's separate enough. Look, we'll guns is more dread here, but also encroaches uh, on Skaven territory. I like them as a filler flying unit. The only reason to use Manticores is because uh, Harpies are useful and unlock the Manticore capacity. So you just put the two or two plus Manticores in the army to get some air support. Good in a siege or uh, in situations like this. One Manticore is uh, underwhelming, two is fine. Not only they forgot Manticores on the battle skills, they get no buffs. They should be on the Frankish mutations and the Bessel Butchers, but this technology that buffs Manticore's physical resistance doesn't work. Mm. 
But high ra rank experience Manticores in, uh, in packs, like 2, 3, 4. Should do fine. If they get killed as a rampage, just get the new ones. This army, uh, I like infantry monitors and uh, Manticores. So we'll just keep two bell skills. And uh, make uh, Taurox a little bit more overkill. More attack makes no sense, because it's perfect vigor. Will not do anything. Unless he's fighting like uh, top tier duelists like Tyrion, it's useless. It's 105 right now, plus uh, other buffs on the attack. If uh, this 105 does not get increased, which will get increased... Uh, what is that other buff called? The Slaughterous Calls. It's 10 attack. So he has at least 115, but it goes up to 120. So his hit chance is 155%. 155%. Max is 90%. So enemy has to have uh, 65 or more defense so you don't have a max hit chance. So any further increase in attack is pointless. You put Kazin on the chariot, yeah. Yeah, it's, it's uh, he murdered the symphony in the chariot. <laughs> he does never get tired. Sixty-five defense, that's extreme. That's extreme. Only uh, some of the L uh, high elf lords will get so much defense. Sometimes. But we also have uh, other buffs for attack here as well. It's pointless to put more attack. More armor. It's uh, make, uh, lots of armor, but uh, more helps against some units. Oh, let's get that one here. So, we got unsated Bloodthirst here. All Minotaurs in his army will get additional 10% damage. Minotaurs are uh, brutal damage healers and more damage makes them more brutal. Keep in mind, uh, we still don't have technology that buffs the Minotaur damage. And uh, this guy does not have a damage buff for a whole army like uh, Kazakh, for example. Since uh, the spells get a little bit cheaper, uh, casting a single target mantle of Gorok in some situations is very nice. You know, it just uh, does brutality on an enemy unit and you get best surge every time you cast a spell. Should we cast a spell uh, uh, once every 10 seconds? Anything Bob's defense here is good. Mm. 
Who's that Shadui guy? Who here? What the shit, man? What the shit? I forgot about that. I forgot, and there's a command about that shit in my channel. Get the fuck out of here, man. What the fuck? Ten attack is a lot on Gorbu. It's an extra chance to hit the uh, uh, relies on uh, Ant Large. So he's supposed to go on to Large with the extra attack against everybody. Just murders everybody. We might not. Oh, wait, this is just stand, just not to complete the ritual, okay. We have one campaign hero which is just looking for uh, treasures, so we get extra favor and items. Does put your head. It's not bad. This is not bad. More wild type spam. Regular wild type is good if the chariots are on top, which means uh, this army here, three chariots. We are very close to finishing campaign, uh, short campaign victory. I'm thinking we go for the long campaign and destroy Karazakarak as well. Oh, we're not that far from it, we just need to uh, start moving there. Morgor is moving there, but is destroying Karak not on the way. I'll lag him too. And I'll probably not stand the blood gun here with Morgor, I'll just be lined for dwarves uh, with him. Kazak will just follow up. This army should also get better quality uh, now. Just need to lock a little bit more infantry. You can see Ungers at this stage of the campaign. Uh, dwarves are rank 2. And they can still confederate a couple of other dwarf clans, including Karakadrin, uh, Karakirn, Clan Angrund. Possibly uh, Karakzorn uh, dwarves and the Atlan Mountains dwarves. So they could survive quite a bit. That's the worst thing about uh, going after Karaz Karak, they can confederate the uh, dwarves in various parts of the map. That's why you need to target other dwarves uh, and them at the same time. Just go after them, they just keep start confederating. So instead of chasing them around, we might just call it in a short campaign victory. We're not that far from the long campaign victory though. We just need to wipe out the dwarves. We require some traveling around the map. We have uh, more quest battles to do. We'll be doing them as well. Uh, there's more to come for this campaign for sure. We're, uh, uh, this is still early game, but we're in the late game. For 70 turns like a like an early part of the game. But, uh, you know, campaign progress is uh, sometimes faster. And when the faction has the tools for it, like the Beastman, it goes even faster. We'll talk more about this in, uh, in the Jibber Jabber. That uh, confederation with Taurox uh, pretty much turns us into two factions at the same time. 
like I said, uh, you're playing all the beastmen combined uh, with this system. Well, I already mentioned a few things about this at the start. This is the end of Itza. But I'm curious still this campaign if uh, if any of the evil factions will turn against us, like the uh, Vampire Coast, uh, Vampire Counts, possibly uh, the Dark Elves. Because we can do diplomacy with those factions. We, do, we, we can work with Skaven though. We can work with Skaven, Norska, Chaos, but not with the uh, Undead. The plague from the Bloodgrounds also speeds up campaign quite a bit. Especially if you're uh, pushing Bloodgrounds into the area where you're gonna conquer next. Because half the Bloodgrounds can only be in the next area. Like, uh, this is like primary example. Everybody's dying from the plague here. You uh, move in with a strong army next turn, you just uh, delete them all. It's a wood else, so safer to put two armies there though. So the Bloodgrounds... Uh, Sending uh, blood grounds, uh, getting you know, pretty much asserting your uh, presence on the adjacent uh, area. Speeds up things quite a bit. The fact nobody can settle, uh, they can't really grow anymore. So, and the larger you get, uh, the faster you're gonna wipe uh, everything else. You just, uh, you know, keep getting a massive, massive ball. That will just run everybody over from the start. Look at the size of this blood ground. This will connect uh, uh, this whole area. So this is the next blood ground. Kazrak and Bigus Dikus and Morgor is hunting dwarves. The well, last three is nearly done, just Teclis and... Yeah. And this boys is gonna be it for the day. I'll see you tomorrow. Thank you for watching.